Three, two, one, go. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Warhounds. I like how I have. Right I always forget every time we we do the so. Now we've done the fourth thing of this. I always have to panic, go to OBS and go, oh God, I'm going to yell. And I have to like quickly bring the slider down so it doesn't destroy everyone's ears. Hell yeah. <laughs> you tell Every us to, okay, time. You, we, have a, we have a problem, Zorin. You tell us to yell and you're not prepared for us to yell. No, yeah. I told you to say something neat or funny, but you all <laughs> yelled instead. <laughs> I have the recording. I have the receipts. You can't we're prove still, that. We're still a customer of the first that. one. You can't be angry at us. <laughs> How do I know you didn't deep fake that, Zorin? You can't, you're deep faking the screening. That's a that's a good that's a good point there. But no, so no, 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 we no. we are we are here for Warhams, everyone. Welcome everyone back to another episode of Warhams. I am your host, Zorin the Bear, and I would like to introduce you to our lovely, you know, contestants here. Uh, I'm going to kind of go and start bringing around the horn here and tell you who your players are. First off, playing our Lesher Skatari is... Speaker D, hello! I am one of the lead writers for If the Emperor Had a text speech Device. I'm the voice of the Emperor, an Astrobile Vect, and today my character is the perfidious Pie Brain. And uh, next up we have our resident medic, the Inquisitorial Acolyte, who is played by... Arndell, and I am also a lead writer. I'm one of the two lead writers on If the Emperor Had a Text Speech Device. I do voice acting bits, and I am indeed playing as Reeve Van Horn, and he has a very blasted back hairstyle. You cannot ask him for tips. He is very good at his job. Do not, do not ask him. And captain of the ship is... Hulky Crow. I am a voice actor for The Emperor Had a Text Speech Device. I currently <sighs> play Kayvon Shrike, and I will be playing Captain Zedek. The uh, perpetually challenged captain. And of course, the one leading us to our doom is our illustrious gang master, Thurston Hillman. If we could all give him a little just clap <laughs> round of applause or something. <laughs> uh, hi. Um, I look forward to, uh, to the next arc in our ongoing misadventures uh, now that we have uh, finished the rattling arc. Who knows what Alpha and I have cooked up for the next arc, but it's going to start today. And you can all find our uh, all our information down in the little boxes there below, which will now be just apparent. Boop. And welcome, everyone, back to Warhams. If you have not uh, been here before, allow me to introduce you to what this kind of overly stuff does. And if you're listening to us on audio, welcome back. We hope you enjoy your drive home for this basically three-hour adventure. So as you may have noticed, you guys can help contribute to the show, and we prioritize funds in someone's wallets here. So once these uh, things are filled up, that's as far as they're going. We're not going to go over the glory die, the wrath die, and the wrath die. So the wrath dice, you kind of see, you can kind of look at my portrait here as it lights up blue with the old man with the big beard. That is a wrath die. This allows us to basically re-roll. Uh, or not reroll failed rolls basically if you play uh, like uh, normal tabletop 40k you know when you roll your d6s and the failed ones you want to reroll the fails that kind of allows us to do that do that for the tabletop system that we're using which is wrath in glory made by cubicle seven uh, additionally we have um on the bottom tier here which are the glory die which are now going to be set to zero because we start every session Goodbye. with none of these no glory no glory, but unfortunately, our illustrious game master here starts with four, which are the red dice here, which are called ruin dice. He's able to use these to keep enemies alive, and uh, and I and we encourage him to try to mess us up because you, Jack, can contribute to a lot of these. And yes, I know one of the slide things are still inaccurate in terms of a typo. Leave me alone. So basically, these things uh, you can see on screen, you are able to donate and contribute dice uh, basically to the game. So this is a way you can kind of influence things. And for our awesome Patreon supporters, uh, we've gotten uh, complications. We have lists for names to be a servitor in the show when servitors do show up and a whole bunch of other stuff. So we greatly appreciate you guys contributing to the show so far. You guys have been absolutely amazing. So we're going to pay for a ton of amazing art and amazing assets that we've been trying to get together to put on for the show. So 
That's the majority of the preamble stuff. And just a last reminder, if you guys help us out and get to back to a thousand concurrent viewers on Twitch, we're giving away some stuff. So I greatly appreciate it if you guys spread the word. One of the best ways to kind of help out with the show is basically telling your Discord folks, spreading it all around, giving people a heads up. And because we would like to basically uh, kick some butt and everything else is a more... Uh, than a single rulebook for the thing. We're probably just going to do one single rulebook for now just to make sure we can get that system right. But I think we'll just start making them more regular once we hit that bit. So every single time we hit it, we give one away. So with that, I think that's the majority of the stuff we have, along with we are not experts at a whole bunch of uh, table RPG games. Like, even though our Game Master of Thurston Hillman is a absolute legend in terms of the tabletop RPG field due to all his experience. We can still get things wrong. So if you notice, if we're playing Wrath and Glory and we mess up a rule or we did something wrong or something, it's either for a narrative purpose so we can just move along with the show. We're not, you know, because we are under a time limit here and, and try to bring in as much funnies as possible. But please be aware, we are probably going to mess up a rule here and there. And please uh, inform us on our Twitter account at at Warham Show. On Twitter, if you notice something we did egregiously wrong, so we can fix it in the future. We still there's still bits and bobs of every tabletop RPG games we may miss. So with that, I think that's all we had to say for the day. And Thurston Hillman, what do you have for us today? You, you <laughs> stole my you stole my usual intro bit about the rules thing, you thief. I'm trying but, to make the well, beginning intro things a little bit shorter so we don't have to I'll so Alpha doesn't I sit there and hate us. Is. <laughs> well, I have one thing that I do want to quickly mention. Uh, we had some questions about it before we jump right in. Um, our players got some experience uh, after oh, the right. completion of of the uh, the lovely rattling arc we just came through. All of our players ended up gaining uh, twenty six experience points. Experience in Wrath and Glory is a resource that can be spent to purchase upgrades, be they attributes, skills, talents, that kind of stuff. Uh, some of our characters. Um, also had some extra experience from the latest errata that Wrath and Glory put out. So uh, really quick, I'm just gonna gonna go down the horn here from everyone just to give a quick summary of what you got that's new about your character with that experience, and uh, we'll start with my brain. <gasps> yes. Do you want me to explain it, or should you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. Yeah. Just Excellent. A, quick, a quick summary. Yeah, very a quick good. summary. I will be exceedingly quick. So Pi decided to add plus one to his weapon skill, giving him a weapon skill of five. He obtained the counterattack talent, which makes him a more vertical threat on the battlefield. Two points in the tech skill and one point in scholar. Bam. Bam. Reed, Bam. Reed Van Horn, what did you do? Reeve spent his time studying because Brain got him a whole bunch of crap from the Lord of Science, so he got two plus to Scholar, and I have to save the rest because everyone else got some refunds on experience because Arata's bullshit. Whoop, 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 and you got none from that Arata. Sorry, Reeve. It's fine. Um, I, got, I got an extra two in Scholar, so that'll be helpful because now I'm still smarter than Pi. Good, good. Uh, Captain Zedek, what do you got going on? So being traumatized by being beaten with various cooking implements, sausages, and baguettes, uh, Zedek goes to his quarters and peruses his pre father's previous belongings and finds a very old piece of Imperial Archaeo literature. Uh, the only title that survived was Dance Steps for Space. We don't know what came after space, but using this led a dance-based combat workshop on the Lido deck. And now he can sidestep and is slightly better in melee combat. Excellent. And then that leaves me with the one I'm most worried about here. Uh. Lorne, what did you take? Uh, I, I took more psychic powers and I, so I'm a psyker and psychers are really weird in Wrath and Glory in any Warhammer 40k game. And there was a talent that allowed me to basically go into another psychic discipline. And I really wanted this spell called Wall of Flame, which is overpowered as hell, but we decided not to take it. But instead I got a, a psychic power called Molten Beam. And uh, <laughs> I think, and the other one was a uh, Flame Breath. So I basically can vomit flame from a distance and I can look at someone really hard and melt a beam them to death. So it's going to be super exciting being able to just look at someone and just boop, and just destroy them. So I'm super excited. Soren, you are not a bright wizard. Calm down. Wow, not yet. Working towards it. Working towards it. All right, cool, perfect. I just wanted to go over that so everyone knew, because our, 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 our players advance as they get some downtime between their adventures, and downtime they have. So we begin our adventure uh, with a bit of a recap. Uh, our, our 
glorious band of PCs have managed to escape the world of Fartham 4 after being chased by a band of cannibal ratlings. Uh, at the end of that, they managed to secure a host of 1,000 ratlings willing to be trained as soldiers for the ongoing crusade, which have now been uh, bunked in the lower decks of the deck collector. They've also secured various foodstuff supplies uh, led, led by the new planetary capital of Happy Feastings and its subsidiary farm of Meat Place Alpha. Yes! <laughs> and uh, the players have also captured the Divine Lord of Science, who is now imprisoned on board the Debt Collector. Uh, and at the end of last session, uh, Reeb had managed to, with some jumper cables, bring the original Emissary Group's engine seer back to life, though she is now on critical support in the Debt Collector's Medicaid wing. Uh, where we last left at the end of our pre previous adventure, uh, the PCs had received a signal uh, communication from one Slyburgo de Fakrubi, who had caused the cannibal insurrection on the planet and then escaped into the warp on board his ship to report back to Katja Van Nord and beat the PCs. So from there, the debt collector has entered the warp and is making its way back to uh, the, the rendezvous point with Katja Van Nord. And this kind of brings us to where we're at, uh, traveling through the warp on board the debt collector. Uh, so with with that, the warp warp travel can take some time. It can take days, it can take weeks, it can take years. Who knows? So everyone has this sort of indeterminate amount of time to enjoy themselves on board the debt collector. However, the first thing that I believe has happened, um, handled by by one Lorne and Pi Brain, is that uh Tater Tot, everyone's favorite small rattling child, has been a uh, placed into servitor daycare if i'm not mistaken yes <laughs> it is a hard decision to make lawn but it is the only one that is responsible after all i don't want to take care of him yes yes it is a um it is very unfortunate but we can't be toting a child around the entire time so i do believe it'll be best to put him in the servitor daycare i mean the servitor is usually taking care of the same as babies anyway so he'll be fine yes and uh you know i have lots of important stuff to do so i can't yell at tater tot every day yes so. yes I, I i believe we must uh you know, put him in daycare, right, where he's nice and safe. We'll check on him ever so often, I believe. Play with blocks. What, what <laughs> servitor is that one? Who, who said that, that would one? Be, that would be the servitor designated as, appropriately, Hello, son. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, that Patreon. Uh, Does he just have like a, like, like a, like a giant sock, like a t-shirt or something? Like a, like a horrible... <laughs> yeah, it's just... an awful like baby blue t-shirt with oh, hello no. fun written on it. And the like just... decayed gray flesh showing underneath. You just see him towering, just like, hello, son. And he just Play has like, just He's wearing flip flops and like khaki shorts with a beer gut with a with a uh, blue shirt and everything. <laughs> no, along, along, with, uh, along with Hello Sun, uh, there are three other servitors currently at Servitor Daycare. I'd like to uh, to highlight uh, Theodran, Zydok, and the Doorman. I believe uh, the Doorman simply stands at the door saying. Greetings. Anytime anyone comes in, is he, to check is he literally the embodiment day. of the Hitchhiker's Guide doors? To be just sit with his arm is plugged into a socket, only destined to open and close doors. Just I, one maybe, door. Maybe it's like even more grimdark. Maybe he's like physically attached to the door and is just this torso on a door. Oh. Is it like je just like like a head sticking out by like a long cylinder on oh, top of a door no. frame and the door has like tiny little arms? <laughs> to, like, every time, arms <laughs> every time it slides in, it just he hits his like, ow, and goes inside the <laughs> cavity for the door. Yeah, yeah, it causes him incredible pain to open it. You guys are fixating <laughs> way too much on this these great rig servitors. <laughs> and uh, I, will, I will also say that Theodren is responsible for the, uh, the crayons section and uh zadok is uh, in charge of nap time this is a very efficient daycare that we have entrusted tater tot to of course does so, the poor child does he even have somewhere to live on the ship or he's just, yeah. he's just permanently in daycare <laughs> the daycare 
This is this is basically just the Enterprise, except you know, grimdark. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. See, I could, I'm sure I could pull up like the bottom door of my armoire out, and he could make a little nest in there. You are going to be jean Luc Picard, and you are going to hate children, and you are going to like it. I am not going to hate <laughs> children. Don't make me do this. Oh man, we, do we get to have Captain Zedek Day? Oh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Happy Captain Zedek Day. Happy uh, Captain Zedek Day. I'm going to resurface. That's going into the GM ammunition vault. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to resurface my sculpting skills, and I'm going to make a shitty bust of Captain Zedek and photograph it. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> All right. So with uh, with the, the Tater Tot Servitor Daycare established, uh, I would like to quickly going down the list of the order I have established, starting with, uh, with Reeb Van Horn. Reeb, you've been in the warp... Uh, Probably coming up on a week now. What have you been spending your time mostly doing as as the uh, the ship is going through the warp? Reeb has mainly been uh, spending his time uh, polishing the newfound femur bone, which he took one hat. You know, he took both the femur bones, but he gave the good one to Pi because Pi was asking for it. He's like, yeah, sure, take yeah. it. He's been, he's been ensuring that his collection of morbid curiosities is well tended to, of which it consists of one very long femur bone, but he's working on it. And in addition to that, he's been checking up on the uh, the Miraculously Alive. I'm pretty sure she's more bullet hole than uh, Engine Seer at this point, but, you know, he's just like, he's part of his job. He's like, I, I brought you back from the dead, so, you know, I guess I'd better take good care and make sure that you do not die again. That would be very embarrassing for me. So he's obviously been spending most of his time in the med bay and tending to his collection and creating vaccines for potential plagues, but obviously none of them will be useful because who knows? Because who knows? Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, Pi, Pi Brain, what have you been doing with your time? Ah, uh, well, Pi Brain has gone on a marvelous adventure. He spent the first half of this voyage making the horrible servitors that have been making up servitor daycare for uh, our dearest little man. He, if, if Doorman is an abomination, it's probably Pi's fault. But... Um, what else he's been doing is that he decided that he wanted to go and get that femur bone gold plated. So he went down to the depths of the fucking manufactorum, like inner reactor workings of the ship and ran into some of the worker gangs. And while he was getting his femur gold plated and metallic, he saw like some worker gang hap like wars happening. And so he decided for like a recreational activity, he would start hunting them for sport. And so every so often, he just decides to go down there and just start hunting people like the Predator. The fuck? The f- the, the, the f- <laughs> what? The fuck? I'm sitting here trying to, like, fix shit and, like, stream elements, and then all of a sudden I hear, you're going General Grievous on some fucking Jedi. The fuck happened? Well, yeah, it's like, he, like, he, like, went down there, and they probably, like, made fun of him, like, called him, like, Weird Bone Boy, and I took some... <laughs> I'm rich with that, so he just decided, you know what I will do? I will stalk the shadows of the night and teach you fear. And right, that's what guy. he's been doing for a couple does, days. Eyes like eyes turn red when he's in predator mode. Yes. He like okay. shudders in the eyes just so it's like angry eyes and it's like kill no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't they don't turn red, like they just get like 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 uh, shudders Slants. come down, so they're like angry yes. eye fades. How about how about this instead? Your voice goes all Christian Bale like Ah, you are the one who I stalk in the night. Where's Scarecrow? Where's the bomb? Oh. I don't think his voice would change at all or his attitude. I think he would just oh. be like, no, that's no, no. And that's like how he hunts people. <laughs> My <Yeah. bad. laughs> it's like you're, you're just in a dark alley and there's some worker that we're cutting to walking down with like, I don't know, some kind of bucket that they're holding and just like, Every few steps. Now, what, what was that? What was that? That yeah. bucket is dumb. All right, that's that's interesting. I'm, I'm glad next. We, I'm glad we learned that. No, you're not next. I am <laughs> next. My entire no, downtime no, activity no, is that no, I put no, on no. a mask and hey, put on a cape, and I am I am the beard I am the bearded baron, and I am hunting down this predator that has been stalking the ship, and I will bring yeah! this bastard to justice. <laughs> and I and it's just like we're both like we're I'm like a superhero trying to help the weak, and I'm just like an old man, so I can't fucking do anything. So I'm using psychic. 
psychic powers to try to solve Lord. these mysteries. Going, hmm, I see that this one has been eviscerated by something from the Adeptus Pacaticus. I wonder who that might be, but my arch nemesis must be nearby. And I will just continue to hunt, find oil stains or like oil drops on the floor and I like taste it. Uh, mm, it smells like Skitari, but it can't be him. It can't be my beloved comrade. And I'll just keep hunting the halls. That's my downtime activity. Well, also I, reading a book. I, can I please interject and just say that uh, sometimes, like, you guys will bump into Reem, Reem when he's, like, looking for spare parts to give to the engine seer. And you're both doing your stupid little bit. And he just says, you know, some of us have jobs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the idea. Lauren and Pi leave the reactor room at the same time every day. And they have no idea that they are, like, the same place doing the same <laughs> so, thing. So I want to every day, they just never question it. When I want I want to hop in here because because what we've just discussed is a spinoff of a spinoff of a spinoff <laughs> that ha- now has a new spinoff. When does the tornado start, man? <laughs> was a good idea, and you know it. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna have to say, spin this top to see if we're living in a simulation. Um, all all right. Well, that that's that's the thing. Um, Ca- Captain Zedek, what, what have you what have you been doing during your downtime? In my downtime, I've been checking up on, quite honestly, anything but what the tech priest has told me to check up on, knowing oh that it will give her any ammunition to use against me. So okay. I've just been looking up on the various cults that are running around in the lower decks, almost certainly endangering the ship, but also repairing it, because I, I don't know their motives. Um, maybe on the topic of daycare, making a little a little bed in the corner for the, the small child if he ever comes up and wants somewhere nicer. But honestly, probably just watching what's happening and just looking at the security systems like, why are they hunting each other? Why are they doing this? We've lost three people in two days. Where have they gone? Who took them? That way, I'm on the case. And I run away. Where's the music coming from? I didn't authorize that. I'm doing it myself. Psychic music. You just got a cat bed in the in the ops section waiting for Tater Tot to come up so we can go up like a fucking cat and just sit there. <laughs> for for his part in it, Pi has no idea that he is the person that Zedek is talking about. And and, oh and Captain God. Zedek like has this, this <laughs> bed set up and it's very clearly like he just every time he comes into his office, he looks at it longingly like one day, one day Tater Tot will come and visit me. But no, he's just in servitor daycare. <laughs> I worry for this child. I hope the dance class went well. Those people uh, didn't really do too good in it. So where where our adventure begins, uh, Lorne, between your Shit. downtime, there's been something causing you quite a bit of problem, and maybe why you, you haven't found your, your nemesis on board the ship. This ship smells awful. Ugh. Like, so. the last week, you've had trouble sleeping because this ship smells so bad. Ugh, I've been having trouble sleeping because it smells so bad. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> so as I you are for trying to in my sleep, room. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work. It's Shit. not it's All not right. fixed. Continue anything. on, Game Master, my bad. <laughs> you're good, you're good. No, um you you've been just having difficulty sleeping. It's it's causing you to just be more disturbed than usual. Uh, this is supposed to be a fairly relaxing trip through the hellscape of the warp, but it hasn't been, because every time you, you take a moment to breathe, you breathe in this awful, like, pungent smell that, like, is this, this, like, bouquet of, like, rancid cheese and feet and all sorts of other smells mashed together. Ah, it smells like all that things that got described in my head. Ugh. I call, I immediately go to my, I, 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 okay, what is my room? Do I have like a closet or something? Like, Yeah, you 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 probably just live in a closet. Okay, just, okay I, I, I leave my closet and get rid of the brooms and the mops or whatever out the deal. Anger, angry, and I, I begin to march to Captain Zedek's chambers. Okay. Uh, at this point, you would know that Captain Zedek is on isn't in his quarters. He would be in the strategium at this. Point. Uh, yeah, whatever that word is, I go there. <laughs> the bridge. He's on the bridge. Yeah, that that thing. I go to it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so 
So I'm you, in like I'm like, in like a nightgown, like I'm like like that like a night dress thing with the like the floppy hat. Okay. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, and you find yourself coming up to the strategium with a bit of a a skeletal crew working, and we see uh, standing on the bridge is is Lieutenant Ransom talking to uh, Captain Zedek, and just gonna gonna share something with everyone here. We got some fancy new artwork. Hey. Hey. Yeah. This is from the- uh, Rude Rubicant. Her Twitter is uh, at rr rubicante r u b i c a n t e. She does amazing art, and you're gonna love it. Yeah, and so, so very Lieutenant, different from what I was expecting. Yeah, Lieutenant jovial. Ransom is in this this blue naval uh, uniform. His hands are sort of outstretched, talking to Captain Zedek. He has this almost kindly grandfatherly appearance. Um, and and Lorne, you're coming in almost as if on cue to to Ransom talking with with Zedek. Sir, the smell has gotten worse in the lower decks. I don't know what the cause is. I thought we sent a cleaning crew down there two weeks ago, and they haven't come sent back? three of them now, sir. Oh, no. And we have another problem related to this. The, There's something worse than the smell? The rattlings are starting to talk about it. They're starting to talk? Horrible starting- news indeed. Oh. <laughs> as you walk up in as your like nightgown. <laughs> yeah, this is some bullshit, Zedek. I didn't I paid for a certain room and one I'm in a fucking closet and two your shit stinks. The fuck? One, you didn't pay for anything, two, this is my ship, and three, you asked for that closet. Four I, I didn't ask for shit. From. You gave you put me in there because you were scared I was gonna go woogly woogly magic on you. You skittered in there and barricaded the door. Yeah, because you had guns uh. on me. Needless to say, I don't know where the source of the smell is. We're trying to suss that out right now. Apparently the ratlings themselves are starting to know about them and the hey, hedonistic little bastards. They've got some rumors going on, sir. It's, it's not rumors? good. They're starting to spread amongst the, the regular citizens. The regular what rumors. The citizens. Quotation marks. <laughs> they call Around themselves that. I, we, I mean, we are a flying city in space. We might as well call them citizens. God. That's right. There are twenty six thousand people on board this vessel. That's a little loud, Zedek. You probably need to punk the numbers out. Ransom, what are they talking about? What's the rumor? I don't know. I don't fraternize with lower class citizens. I just know that there are rumors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ransom, all right. <laughs> I mean, oh. I have a job right. to do, and I do it. <laughs> and you do your job well, Ransom. Do we have any leads on the um, source can, of the can smell? Can both of you, uh, Lorne and Captain Zedek, give me an insight check, please? Happily. Sure can. Yeah. After yeah. I find where that is. Oh, I kitchen. love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Captain Zedek starts off with a with a complication. Woo! Lord, Complication City. It's gonna be um, great. Uh, all right. So so um Captain Zedek, you you managed to succeed the check, but there's a complication. And Lauren, you just like completely whiff and get a complication. Um That's my so, life, don't worry. Uh it's oh, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um I, I'm going to pull out from some of our, our lovely Patreon complications here. And in fact, I have one that's going to be really really good here and i'm going to apply it to uh to both of actually no i'll apply it to lauren for this one see he failed oh fuck you i want him to suffer (laughs) i'll I'll get to him Uh, hey he succeeded you failed yeah 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 Mm. Uh, don't worry we'll get to that as well um so what what's going to happen here is real quick captain zedek you you notice as like lieutenant ransom makes his commentary on how he doesn't associate with the the lower citizens like all of the crews like at their stations here even though it's a skeleton shift there's still a couple dozen they all share these like very worried glances at one another like they are terrified of this man um and he he, he runs a tight ship on this bridge so you you recognize there's a lot of like ransom is imposing order here um 
Now, as far as complications go, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Cry Havoc eight eight four for this uh, this complication for that will apply to uh, Lauren called Sins of the Past. The character oh. suddenly remembers a highly embarrassing moment from their past, making social interaction more difficult. Mm. So, so like as you're looking around trying to gauge things uh, from from like the people in the room, how how does that complication? Finish? Okay, I, I I can't think of a good one. Off the t- uh, uh, help me out here, everybody else. What what embarrassing thing should I remember as Lauren? I'm I'm full willing to take whatever from the chat or from us. You you guys I mean, you guys. I mean, you're you're from Fenris. Yeah, from Fenris. I'm an old man. That's Things honest, happen. Being from Fenris is pretty embarrassing. I'm not ma- ma- lie. I mean that that is true. That is true. Uh, I, I, we can go the well, whole okay, high school it. route. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I got it. All right, you're looking at Lieutenant Ransom. Ransom is a silver fox. He's an old man. He looks good, but he doesn't have a beard. It reminds you of the time when you were stuck in a forest filled with nothing but red and yellow snow, and you had nothing to eat but your own beard. You had to chew it up, and oh, you no, no, something, no, and you just reminded it of this I, horrible I start, thing. I start, I start <laughs> hugging my beard. I'm just, no, that's, I, I start, it's, it's stinky and. It's, yeah, and I leave. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> just abandon the conversation, just crippled fear, just hugging my beard, going, It's okay, I won't eat you. It's okay. <laughs> I raise my finger to speak and I just put it down. I'm like, No, no, <laughs> not today. Um, and, and, and yeah, so, so you leave in a complete huff, Lauren. Uh, Captain Zedek, you, your complication doesn't have an immediate effect. You just feel this like. This this shiver, like like something bad has happened. Like you saw something as Lauren was leaving, just out of the corner of your eye in the doorway, and almost like you heard a chuckle, like a. <laughs> um, but that was it. That's all. That's all you kind of noticed, aside from succeeding and noticing that your crew is terrified of your second in command. Mm-hmm. For a second there, I think I saw Belba creep foot in the corner. No, just waiting. Uh, no. Lauren, you have exit. Like, are you like leaving the bridge and just? I'm like leaving the outside? conversation. I'm still kind of okay. nearby. I'm just kind of okay. more or less in a in a nearby corner, just hugging my beard, going, hey, "It's okay. They won't catch you." Are you like manically combing <laughs> it? Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I I think that you may wish to assemble your team and go and meet with the Rattlings. They may have some information, or at least we should stop these rumors. They're bad for morale. I mean, I suppose we could. Telling people you don't talk to them even though they're running the ship also doesn't help with morale, but you know what? You're doing your job here, so I suppose it's okay. Let the, let the crew know that I value all of your positions and not letting us die to psychic horrors. Excellent. I'll summon the Z team. I press like sure the button. Oh, God, they Lord, where did you come from? understand your here orders, now. sir. <laughs> to the letter. I will go over to the Vox feed and get on the comm system. Okay. Where are you commsing to? I'm commsing the entire ship because I don't know where the remaining three of them are. <laughs> I guess Lauren, he came back, so he's yeah, fine. Lauren's I'm there. here. Hello. Attention, Ambassador Ambassadorum, 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 Ambassadorum squad, it's an early day for me. Report to the bridge. We have a problem again. Uh, Pi and uh, Reeb, do you make your way up there? Yeah! Uh, I'm so I guess I got it. I mean, I'll drop whatever I'm doing, probably in the collection at this point. My collection of one. <laughs> you're just sitting there admiring the thigh bone, and then you're like, ah, oh, action! Ah, uh, it's time to move on. <laughs> yeah, um, shortly after you, like, both Pi and uh, Reeb, you show up on the bridge. As, as you do, you see, like, Lorne... Uh, standing by Captain Zedek, furiously combing his beard with his fingers. Um, seems a bit off compared to normal, but otherwise okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you see uh, Zedek, you see the other two come in. Yeah, Pi is obviously covered in blood. <laughs> but it's like otherwise just completely normal. Hey, everybody! Oh, oh uh, you, you, you don't look good at all. I walk up and I rip off my nightgown. It just reveals all my armor and everything underneath like I'm fully geared already. And I said, oh, here you go. Use this to wipe off the blood. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just, just car wax. 
Yeah, yeah. Brian, why are you covered in blood? What? I don't understand. There's some WD-40 here. <laughs> so anyway, what's going clean. on? Of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> Zedek, looking at this, pulls a small hip flask out of his coat, drinks it to the bottom, and puts it back in. <laughs> well, thank you for coming, although I don't think you had a choice. Uh, it seems like the smell on the ship is getting worse, and apparently people are starting to talk about it. So I guess we have to do what the janitors can't and find the source of the problem. I'm not going to ask why you're covered in blood. I, I just assume that you you might be at this point. Yeah. But do any of you know anything more about the scent? The stench? I, I, I know it's stinky. I mean, that's Besides all right. I'm the fact that it's a smelly smell that smells smelly. Pyre, you, you have not had like any kind of experience with a truly awful smell. So it is the first time me and him were smelling yeah, this thing. Absolutely. Or just, okay. just being told of it. You're not even smelling anything. It's just being told that there's a smell. All right. Uh, um Reba's going to think about this for a moment, casually sniff the air, very audibly going, uh, Captain, I'm going to j I'm going to very slowly approach the captain. Yes, Reeb. Is it possible that your olfactory senses, i.e., your nose in this case, is uh Playing a bit of a trick on you, as I do not sense anything at the moment. Well, I can tell you I haven't really noticed it as bad as the other crew members have. Although, it seems as though the ratlings, the gross hedonistic little bastards they may be, have started to notice the smell on the lower decks and are getting uppity about it. I will not tolerate uh, uppity ratlings after what we just witnessed. Terrific. So it clearly must be bad. All right, well, I suppose I can go ahead and get a round of testing going to see if there's anything going on down there. I, I can possibly test the air for the usual things, you know, you know, just standard decay, you know, coolant leaks, Kung Pao penis, all that. It, huh? What was that last thing you said, Reeb? Yes, it's a type of dish that they were talking about. It's something huh. they sell. I, I, I turn around. I turn story. around to the hooded figure, and I all right. Here's the money. He said it, and then I turn around. <laughs> and watch it skitter into the shadows. <laughs> Some wretched form. <laughs> the pact is made. <laughs> it's something the rattlings make. I do talk to them, you know. Oh my god, they can talk. Yes, you socialize rarely. with them. I have to do medical rounds, you know. I am the chief medical officer. But we don't. Not my job. What Not happened? that you two would know what that is. What we, happened to the other Medicaid on the ship? They're busy. I have them tending to the engines here while I'm not doing that. Oh, right. I have you know, it's very difficult. She is mostly dead, you know. Uh, Captain Zedig, I have a question. What? What? Uh, can I be the chief of something? Uh, let me go down. I'm going to pull out a data slate that's nearby and see if there's any yeah. openings. Oh, 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 I immediately <laughs> rushed up. I rushed up to Zed. I kind of like, look, look, look at this one. Look at this one on the entry. The chief of the sewer maintenance crew. <laughs> I don't think he'll like being the chief of the sewer maintenance. He hey, asked, Brain, do you want to go work in the subs and fix the problems that are down there? We have subs? No, sump. The sump? Yes, the uh, the gross pipes that carry all the waste around the ship, and the and I guess some water, but it's mostly reused. Ah, uh, water! I miss the ocean. No, I quit. <laughs> oh, okay. No, give me a good one. I want to be like chief of red. Yes, I can. Make a, I suppose scholar check to see what we have open on our crew roster. I mean, you don't have to make a skill check. You you know what's available on your ship. Um, and generally speaking, you have the, the senior tech priest position filled. You have your second in command uh, filled. You have your astropath. You have your navigator. All of those are, are, are filled positions. Everything else is a little more battle royale-ish on this ship and maybe changes with the ebb and flow of the times. I mean, with all these recent murders around, some random position might be open. Maybe he should be chief of, um, I don't know, particle board. I don't know. What's I want a particle board. 
to be the chief of everything that is colored red. Don't let him do it. You're wearing red. It would supersede your orders. Uh, that, let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, here, uh, let's do this. Let's do I this. have an idea. Go ahead. Okay. I've been having trouble with our other tech priest on the ship. Why don't you do me and eventually everybody a favor and find out what, how, how to fix the problems that she has? Or at the very least, stop her from sending me her list of problems every time we go somewhere. What a fix! I, I am a great tech priest. I'm so good at fixing things. I'm sure it is all not even worth my time. Hon honestly, to talk to the other tech priest is about fixing things. I'm sure First she's of, doing a good job. Thurston. <laughs> yes, Reed. Let's roll an insight to see what his tech skill is. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please, please. Also... As, as you're doing that, I'm just waiting at some point for Discord to kind of like go blorp and like make uh, Speaker D a robot. Like, you know how Discord likes to do that? To where yeah. he's just doing his rants all of a sudden. And then it just, just, it'll just fit perfectly for him, but it'll look like we're, we're the war for the others. It'll be just waiting one day. Uh, yeah, Reeb, you, you have a sense that, that um, Pybrain knows about tech, but probably doesn't know the deeper the deeper secrets of technology. Can, uh, good Skatari, not good tech priest. Can, can you tell me, uh, Speaker, can you relate to me what your current tech role is? My, uh, my tech is uh, at three, but for most of this adventure, it's been at one. And okay, my dice right. pool is six. Okay, so I am just one below you with no skill in tech. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can tell that I have been diligently working at trying to get really good at tech stuff. <laughs> and it's like these, these for dummies. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Pi is someone who only barely now knows what he's talking about. Yeah, hang on. We actually have a good I actually was glancing over a chat. There's a good suggestion. Uh Reeb is going to mention it actually. Okay. Uh, would it be possible, Captain, since um good old brain here is so keen on using his uh, weapon, I will rub my thumb along the length of his robe, no doubt pull off a lot of blood. Uh -huh. Would it be perhaps in our interest if we put him in charge of being chief of security? I suppose we could. It seems like that position frequently opens up anyway, and yeah, a lot, his really. propensity oh, I have questions about disappointment, disappointment, sir! <laughs> yeah. What? You dare I'm... challenge your chief of security! Enough, Chief, yet. Calm down. Oh, what is it, Ransom? Okay. I just want to make sure that this Chief of Security is more related to the citizenry of the ship and not the officers. We cannot have someone looking into the lives and affairs of our officers. All right, I finally remember it being a social position. Tell me, Brain, are you good with that? What? Socializing? I'm, um, I think most Offices are very boring people, and I make no promises, but I am very easily distracted, so it's probably fine. As long as you do not look into our officer, Cadre, I will not oppose this decision, sir. I have concerns with that statement, but you know what? Sure, Brain, if you can learn how to talk to people like a normal person... The position's yours, and you'll get a cool hat. <gasps> I get a cool hat? Do I get a sash? I We could probably make a sash. Yes. Nice, that is gross. Soon the legend of Lemuria shall hold the stars in its grip! All right. All right, all right, everybody. We still have a stinky problem here. And uh, I believe... Um, I believe my, some reports or something may have come in to help pinpoint it. Or we can go talk to the Rattlings and see what's been going on. See if they're the source of it. Let's start with the reports and see if we can glean anything from them. And when the people inevitably cannot tell us where they are, we will go ask the people who are sniffing it out themselves. Excellent. This is not your average stinky. This is a uh-oh big stinky. And I don't yeah, like the, that. The reports that you have, like, that, that, and that ransom is collated for you, are are mostly just reports from the lower decks of the ships indicating like uh there there seems to be a bad smell and they have all been sort of put together and coming in from all different avenues of the lower decks there's there's nothing coherent among them yet 
just an increase in the number of them. So, so As now I we can. Surmised. Uh, yeah, I suspect now we can just all just head over to the rattlings and see what's going on. Yeah. Yes. Time to okay. go to the mega yeah. elevator. So so you make your way um into the to the lower holds where the, the rattlings have been put up. They've they've been set up in kind of this uh run down, really not not too often used section of the ship, uh, where they have uh essentially turned it into a training ground. Specifically, Belba Creepfoot has set up an intense training and stealth uh regimen that she's been putting through the, the putting the other rattlings through. And you emerge into the area, which is these long halls that are all filled with debris, like parts of the, the, the bulkheads and walls have just collapsed and form, you know, these trails of wreckage in the halls themselves that you're forced to step around or move to the side. And there's, there's no straight paths in here because it looks like everything is sort of broken and fallen apart or there's flickering light and there's this smell, this acrid smell in the air. Not a, not a stink smell, but more of like smell of chemicals. Mm. And yeah, you come down here and the lights are just flickering on and off like tss, 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 I don't the, the think this deck was in disrepair the last time I came down here. Nice ship, Zedek. <sighs> As I could see. <laughs> do we have Captain Lady to ask? Do we have an engineering crew? Or has Gamu been sending us those messages in the hopes that we were going to be getting a resident <clears throat> tech priest to fix these? issues no i think she intends for me to fix them in theory we have an engineering crew and but they then again i've avoided any sort of contact with the alleged engineering crew knowing that i would have my ass reamed for not fixing the problems captain what do you mean in theory yeah did yeah. you not hire an engineering crew do we have we been going through here with our ship steadily wasting away behind us as though it has been afflicted with some kind of necrotizing fasciitis falling apart behind us while we are puttering through the war? We have at least one person who can make repairs. Pi I can tell you that. Pi does and not count. Reeb, not as you pie. shout this from behind you, you just hear this. If you want to survive in the shadows, you've got to be quiet. Belba, please. And uh, you you turn around to see Belba eye to eye with you as she's standing on a wooden crate that has suddenly appeared behind you with her on top of it. Oh yeah, now I get a really good sense of scale with how fucking small she is. <laughs> yes. Hello, Belba. Belba, what have you done to my beautiful ship? I haven't done anything. You gave us this part of the ship. It was like this when we got here. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It totally was normal. Just, just I take good care of my like ship. He's full of shit. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you gave it to us because you thought we could live here because we're hardy people. Sure. It totally. That's. Yes. Yes. That is the reason. And it looks to be something. Like? We've, we've we've been focusing on securing the, the doors and connectors to the other parts of the ship. We've set up choke points in case it gets through. What is it? What? What? You you know about it, don't you? The thing that exists in the the lowest parts of this ship. It's a legend from our home world, but we know <laughs> it's here. Why is always the lowest part of the ship? Why is it never like the top? If I were a monster, I would go to the top of a ship. Because yes. top of the they, ship. Is what they always say is that it always goes downhill. Oh. Belbo, I, what I, is this I, thing that has allegedly followed you from Fartham for? It's always been here. It didn't follow us. It was here. No, it wasn't. I know what's on my ship, and I know that we didn't have a monster. I talked you? to the crew. You, you literally didn't know if you had an engineering crew. The other, the other <laughs> rap was <laughs> asked around. Me and my people, we found it out. It's, it's been here a while. Your crew says the smell's been here a while now. Do you have any leads on the source of the smell? Because that's why we're here. Not, not yet. But we're sure. It can only be one thing. It's got to be an excremental. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> <sighs> 
Not again. Uh, <laughs> well, so funny, funny story about that. What? Not long after I got the ship, there mm-hmm. was a problem reported of the same variety, if not similar. And, and you just I had on it? No, I sent some septic crews down there to take care of it. And you never checked up on them? We got green across the board, so I assumed it was fine. Did, did so they come probably, back, Zedek? I don't know. There's like 32,000 people here. How the fuck did you send a crew and not check up on the crew and make sure the job was done? Look at where you are and ask me that question again. And like you suddenly turn to hear the sound of two servitors that are walking into walls. Mm, I'm going to walk up to one of the servitors. Uh, yeah, Pi, uh, you, you walk up and you see, um, like, plated on it, on the back of uh, its neck is uh, this this title that's been, you know, written in by Neric that reads Shuffman 89. Mm, I will perform percussive maintenance on Shuffman 89. Yeah, you, you can give me a tech check. And as you're doing that, Belba looks at you, Captain Zedek. It also seems the servitors we were assigned don't really oh! work. Oh, bring out a six! He did a ah, thing! He did a thing! He got the maximum amount of points he could possibly get on a roll. Good job, you are oh. now a wizard! I am a tech priest! Ah, of course! <laughs> Brain is, like, really excited. I've always wanted this! So, so with your success, what were you trying to do? <laughs> Like, you're like, I make a tech chest. What are you trying to do? Well, I'm trying to, like, <laughs> fix this tech creature that is, like, banging into walls, and I want this thing to be, like, fully operational, optimized, able to respond to our questions, and I'm going to start asking it some. Compliant. Tell, uh, I'm sorry, I usually don't get this far. <laughs> um, uh, wh- what is happening with the excremental? Designation unknown excremental. Mm. What is uh, the source of the sept- septic uh, disruption? Unknown. D- am not programmed. What the hell is you programming then? Programming is maintenance walkways. Hmm. I look at the walkways. I'm like, yeah, that seems right. Well, can you do your job? And the other one, at this conversation, the second one is still bashing into the wall beside it. Kung, kung, kung. Yeah, this is just loud metallic echo through the area, and Belba just looks kind of unimpressed at Captain Zedek. Reeb, what are you doing during this? I'm. Uh, well, Reeb is casually thinking to himself about the hit anime Berserk 2016 and the clang noise, but... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm kind of, Reeb is mostly just trying to... He's still probing the air, trying to find this supposed wretched stench that is happening. Am I actually getting anything, or...? You can give me an awareness test. Absolutely. Oh, this will be interesting. Fortunately, that is... Uh, it's not bad. It's just no, oh, but yeah. Oh, fuck wow. it. oh it's yeah, not bad. You got an yeah, eight. Whoa. So when you actually pause to focus and like take in a deep breath of air and sniff, you, you taste the chemicals in the air, but then there's just this this smell of awful that underlines it. And it seems to be coming far off in the distance. Awful just, as in A awful or O awful? O awful. Mm. Med, can I do a Medicaid to see if I can recognize whatever that wretched off-gassing stench is? It's it's some kind of, like, excrement or other assembly of just rotting foods and or meats. Okay, so that narrows a few things down in my mind, but I don't think I can do anything until the rest of my team finishes messing with the, the Pathfinder. Clang, Lauren, what are you doing during this? I'm chilling. <laughs> Next. Thanks, Lord. <laughs> Good. We're secure here, but you better secure your ship, Captain Zedek. I'll have the rest of these rattlings trained and ready for when you need to deploy us. 
Sure, you yeah. know what? Fine, <laughs> and fine, you start hearing fine. this like exerted like noise, like, <laughs> and then you hear this clang, 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 clang. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> turn to see the source of the noise. Yeah, what I, you see I too turn to see this, the source of the noise, and, and like coming down down the hall, the direction slightly up ahead where Pi is with the two servitors, you see turning the edge of the corner is this rattling who is stripped to his, his underwear and has been like taped around with potatoes strapped to him. And so he's running <laughs> and he's just running this like mostly naked rattling with potatoes strapped over him down the hall. <laughs> Is this a uh, fetish thing I have to worry about? Like, what's going on? Belba, explain yourself. Yeah, yeah I'm, about, I'm about the molten beam that one, if you don't explain. Well, you gotta make them run somehow. And then behind them, you see all of these other one, all of these other <laughs> fully clothed rattlings with, like, forks and knives who are rushing towards. <laughs> Tater, We're about to Tater. have a PTSD nice pair. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Well, but you do realize we had an issue planet why you know, planet side? That was a cannibalism issue. If you tape them to the rattling and then have them chase the rattling, what will they do when they catch the rattling? Well, I guess they better not catch the rattling. <laughs> no, 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 no. They'll just eat the potatoes. It's happened a few times now. All right, as long as it's out of control, I guess. <laughs> this, this, this has happened before, and I just let them run by us. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, as you're saying this, the conversation is bisected with the rattlings running between you. <laughs> <laughs> well then, gentlemen, it seems as though we'd better proceed. Um, just give me a bit to finish up the maintenance on these servitors. I am would, a dead Would you like to, to work on the second one? Yes, I would. Yeah, oh, you can here we go. just on the second one. Here we go. Um, the, first one, the first one turns away from you now and begins picking up the clutter on the ground. Aw. He got a four. Uh, hey! Yeah, you got a four, so that's that's <laughs> enough to, to like perform the rudimentary fixes you need to. It's not as efficient as as um the, the Shuffman 89. However, you do manage to reactivate the systems on uh, servitor designated gamer juice 69420, <laughs> um, who who begins clambering alongside its compatriot and, and moving debris out of the hall. Gamer juice. Go! Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I uh, I'm gonna make sure these guys are okay. You guys go ahead for a second. Gonna... Uh, Captain Zeta, because this is all going on, you get a crackle uh, from your your personal box. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, ransom. Your presence is requested by the by the astropath. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh... Ah, I haven't met that uh, one before. I'll be there shortly. Understood. Like close the feed. Well, I hope we solve this issue eventually, but the astropath wants to speak with me. Mm. Well, I, I guess we're coming with you because I don't know how to separate us. In splitting our party is a really bad idea. So let's go, everyone. Oh, yes, sure, it's fine. You guys go ahead. I'll be two minutes behind you real quick. I want to talk to Belba real quick. Okay, so as the three go off, Pi, you, you walk up to Belba. Belba. At first, right. I wanted to kill you, but now I realize you are chosen. I like you. She kind of leans in off, like like her, her bulk coming slightly off the crate. You hear the, the crate creak under her weight. I know what you're doing. And what am I doing? She needs it. <gasps> and she gives you a nod. Oh, thank you. Pi looks genuinely touched or has touched the shadowy two eyes of Pi Quinn. <laughs> the anime happy oh, eyes go no, on. No one's ever told me that before. Well, how would you like extra responsibilities? Maybe once I've done training this regiment. Yes, yes. I am now chief of security. But I cannot investigate the officers. My focus is on the crewmen. But as the chief of security, I want to promote you to chef of security. 
chef of security. Chef of security. She- Your job chef. She can cook. will be to investigate the officers and not the crewmen. She pulls an onion off her belt and takes a bite. I like that. Sounds like a good job, Crunch. Yes. I pop her out from the corner. Hurry the fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, you... Yeah. you I quickly you shake her head. I want to trade to me again. I'm going to toys in the head. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Okay, thank I'll you. I'll beam your, at, your fucking exhaust pipe to your ball bearings. Let's go. Rain, we have to meet the spacemen. Let's okay, go. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, Zorin, I'm pretty goddamn sure you just made a metal arms glitch in the system. Right damn straight. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, so you start making your way towards uh, the astro path chamber, which is very central in the ship. Um, and Zedek, you know the way, and and the rest of of you, as as you're making your way, you're making your way through um, sort of the mid decks, which are nowhere near as bad as as the, the rattling section of the lower decks. But as you're making your way, uh, having gone through the lift and then taking a small tram unit across, you find that the area has become very dusty like there's this this almost light fog in the air and your your footsteps are making slight tracks in the ground just from how rarely trodden this area is and there's there's not quite a a sense of like must here but there's this not quite cold but slightly chilled dry feeling as you're walking through this area. And you find that there are immense pillars of uh, stone that are carrying up the the ceilings here that expand out into this immense, almost like a warehouse area. Oh, jeez, there's some more dust on the floor. The party pipes may have burst again. We're going to have to fix the fog emitters. the, The lighting here is not flickering, but there's only just a few lumens that are being held off of wires at the ceiling. And you find yourself coming into this warehouse and you see what are clearly like rows of shelving, almost like a a supermarket, except they're all empty. And you, you start carrying closer and closer towards what's the center of this expansive area. Um, we're talking like several hundred meters wide in some spaces. And as you're carrying on down, you start noticing some of the shelves, um, maybe like one in every two or three shelves has a las gun on it. Oh, no. Right. Oh, oh, no, we may have left that shipment behind. Oh, uh, well, it- it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Uh, ignore the seemingly barren state of our armory. It's under cleaning order. Yes, the glass um, guns are being cleaned. Why you all, the rest of like you, all of the rest of you who are not Captain Zedek can give me either a tech or a scholar check. Oh, oh well. I'm bad with both. My nine scholar. Okay, okay. I like it. That's 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 a decent scholar. I like that. Uh, I Lauren, got a nun. Making... Okay, you got a nun. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay, Reeb, you know as Captain Zedek says that the armory is in a completely different part of the ship. This is definitely where the astropathic like chamber should be for this vessel. Uh, Captain, I, I regret to inform you, this is where the astropath is to reside. Oh. This is not the armory. The armory is on the aft deck. So it is. And as you get finally to like the, the absolute center of this immense warehouse space, you see this tarp. One of those, you know, almost light blue, but it's been kind of stained with various like browns and blacks. Just tarp that's maybe six by six meters square that's been laid out on the floor and the the corners of it are held down with what appears to be uh, some las guns, auto guns, and a few pistols of both varieties. Uh, and they form kind of this strange semicircle around the area, keeping the tarp down. And in the middle of it sits, or sorry, lays, lays on his back a man 
a bald man with this absolutely disheveled dark beard and grungy like brownish green robes that have um other patches in the form of a symbol stitched on their their bottom level and his eyes are what attract you because his eyes are missing and instead there are these two metal bolts with sort of red lenses in them and this figure lies on his back looking up and Captain Zedek, you recognize this instinctively, having met him several times before, as the deck collector's astropath, Winnick Rivette. Mm-hmm. Hello again, Rivette. It's been a while. I would like to ask you why you've requested my presence, but also where the rest of the astropath's room is. And he he stands up, sort of leans forward, shakes his shoulders a bit, gets up on on to his uh, feet, turns towards you, and waves around towards the room, his bionic eyes looking over all of you. I like that model. It's a good model. It's I'm Rommers over here with Astro Pass off. Oh, crap. Come again? In the Astro Pass chamber. It's always been the Astro Pass chamber. You get your shit out of your mouth, what? In the Astro Pass chamber. It's always been the Astro Pass chamber. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I think you have to clean out your ears, Lauren. I can hear him pretty clearly. The fuck? The what? The f- what? No. <laughs> <laughs> The this has always talking. been the Astropath's chamber. This is not the armory. That was merely a test earlier, and you guys passed. Great job. Gold stars in all your calendars. The fuck oh. was I supposed to... The fuck's the test for? Lauren, yeah, learn it. Learn it. I got it. No, 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 what the fuck is he saying, Zedek? It's an exclusively low wait. gothic. Wait. Wait. C- Captain Zedek. Yes, Lord. He, he was an astropath or something. First off, tell me what an astropath is. An astropath is a very special brain boy who uh-huh. helps the ship guide the terrors of unreal space in the warp. And so, if so, they no, fuck up, so, we all die. That's wrong. So, well, he like, doesn't know that. Okay, so with that in mind of what you just told me in your thing, I think you're fucking with me, Jake. If that's true, this fucker is keeping us afloat? And you can't fucking understand him? No, he just said, I said that was a navigator. I'm not a navigator, I'm an astropath. I heard navigator. What the fuck's going on? Do you even know who's on your ship? I, are you insulting the knowledge I have of my ship? I'll have you know I know exactly who's on this ship at all times. Where's your engineering crew? Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they exist. They definitely exist. <laughs> Captain, I have you know I'll be looking at the roster very carefully after this since I'm, I'm fairly certain that we are lacking some very crucial elements of our crew. And I would very much to like to well have them. I can assure you. Uh, that yeah, I don't just mind. I like people who talk their mind. Precisely. Yeah, yeah. What he said. Mm. I agree. What I have, I have. Yeah, no I, said, I got messages from the crusade. We got updates from the crusade. I've not a I'm, goddamn. I got no, no. I heard that one. Update. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to... Here's it. I can just push Zedek at him. You figure it out. <laughs> what updates do you have, Rivet? Crusade for the Garden of Jopal. They get stuck in Jopal for a while. Fuck sakes. <laughs> Lauren doesn't. <laughs> just doesn't over there. We're definitely stuck. No, on Crusade for they're stuck in Jopal. They're st- Why are they at Jopal? You know... Why? Do you know? Oh, message come through the table. Hold up! <laughs> right. 
I just want to say, Thurston, this is probably the funniest thing an astropath can make. <laughs> okay, so... Do you... Look. We're but they just never jump out of... Oh, no, it's over. No, no, they, they're leaving Joe Paul. They're leaving Joe Paul. Okay, okay. You, that, that's that's they go on to some of the ghost stars. Oh, 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 no. And did we... Did the glorious leaders at the head of the crusade say why they were going to the ghoul stars? No, no, not ghoul stars. Ghoul stars. Ghost. Oh, no. What's a ghost What's stars? A What's a Japal? What's going on? Why is um, it crazy? The Reeve fuck is a ship? Reeb, Reeb, would you like to give me a scholar? Or anyone, really. But I assume Reeb will, will make uh, to, to see what you know about this. Oh, I'm ready to complicate. Hold up. Turns oh. <laughs> out it actually went very badly. I rolled, I rolled a that. zero. Wow. Uh, Reeb, would you like to spend a wrath dice to reroll some? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of my wraths. All right, yeah. wrath has been spent. Wrath has been spent. Oh, 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 oh. One of my two wrath. One of your two. Yes. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the re. The, not I don't want to reroll ZX roll. Yeah, nope. you you reroll the original you had there. Yeah, there hey, you go. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so you like Reeb, you're the the one in this group who has done their homework and and certainly know you know generally like what the crusade has been and you knew that from the last update the main crusade fleet for some reason was stuck over Japal for a while. So this this sort of lines up. Uh you don't know exactly what happened. And pr- prior to that they had been at like Attila and Katachan and making their way towards Terra. But now the fact that the latest update indicates they're going to the ghost stars seems really, really strange because the ghost stars are in like the far northeastern quadrant in like the eastern fringes of the galaxies. Mm. I am no astropath and I do not have an astrologer's chart on me at the moment, but from what I understand. They are deviating quite off course. Uh, we have not received any updates, near as I recall. Um, Captain, you do know where the ghost stars are, right? No. Oh, I t- based, based on my scholar check, I, I do not know where the ghost stars you are. You could give me a piloting check as well. I'll let you like give piloting to see your, your stellar oh, cartography. Knowledge. That one I'm good at. Allegedly. Not yeah, you... Four. Yeah, a four is enough for you to know, Captain Zedek. The ghost stars are in, like, the, the eastern fringes, far in northeast. Well, yeah. Reeb, I can tell you it's most definitely the direction we're not supposed to be going if we're going to Terra. But the crusade said not to not, not, not go, go there. It said to meet up with Gatravan Nord. Ah, oh, brilliant. So, we are, so we're still set to go on this path. We are simply going to be going it alone on the debt collector into. Charted, but definitely not secure space. Brilliant. And this is under orders from Catch of Anur. I didn't give him Brahma. The, the Brahma who? The what? <sighs> they said I gave him the Primarch. The fuck's a Primarch? That... What do you mean you don't know what a Primarch is? You're looking credulously at Lorne. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. About. I've just been living on Fenris the entire time of my life, and I've just been shipped off to a quick thing and then brought on over onto this ship. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know what the fucking Primark is, because it's You're not the from common Fenris. You don't. You should know. I would explain what a Primark is. No, we don't have the time. I'm sorry, I lived in a village for, like, most of my life. We don't, we don't even know about any of the but other that's things. that's your right? problem! Ah, like, you should have been living somewhere else. It's like, out of character, I'm, I'm getting, not a lot of people know what those out. are. <laughs> like, not a, lot of people, not a lot of people know what those are. And even on Fenris, people don't even know what a space marine is. They ha, don't show up all that often. Village. So, it all depends on where you grew up. Some yeah, planets all know, some depends. Don't. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and so Winnick kind of leans in again, and, and with his his rough voice, he you know, speaks. Thing of getting tired of here. I need more guns. I need more weapons. Why? Literally, why? More weapons to get to save our field to clear the message. It's unnecessary. You don't. You don't need them here. 
Uh, Lauren, can you give me a psychic mastery test? Sure can. Yeah. I wiggle my fingers around to do the psychic mastery and whoop, whoop, whoop. Here's a, okay, I was waiting for that complication. I got a seven. A seven is really good. So, so like from what you were gathering from from Winnick's tough speech, the the idea that Winnick requires weapons for clearer messages, like a lot of psychic stuff, is all based on um, like metaphysical, like personal beliefs, whatnot. So, the idea that he feels safe with weapons means the more weapons he gets the the clearer the signal and in fact the clearer the message he might deliver should we move him to your so-called armory captain zedek he might get a better whatever the fuck he said we need guns from other places on the ship not the armory you find guns you bring them here and make me feel safe and the message get clearer <sighs> I will take out my radium pistol and I will look at Zedek, hand it to the astronaut. His, his smile goes wide with like his, his missing tooth grin. Oh, that looks like a spiritual. Take it away slightly. Hand it back to him. <laughs> Trying to see like his eyes go like furled mad, happy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, and, and like as he's holding it, he just looks and he's like, this is a really good piece. And then he hands it back to you. You don't want it? Please. Hold on, what are you going to stay here? How long do I need it? Just hold on to it when you talk to me. And then give it back after. I would not recommend holding on to the gun. Yeah, that's What's the worst that pistol? can happen? Yeah, oh, you, I you, don't know. <laughs> Let's it's mutate the mutant death, even like... more. <laughs> yeah, the smell on the lower deck is getting worse. Yes, we know the smell on the lower deck is getting worse. We are trying to suss out the stench. Septic but... unit four. I found it there. I smelled it there. Septic unit four. Unit four. Unit four. I got that one. That is the number after a three. I say it to Lauren in case he doesn't know. What's a four? You can. Lauren, you do know how to count, right? What's counting? I mean, I used to I used to refer to these bones as the thing I take out my tribal bones with runes on it. This is how I count. I put a hand gently on Lauren's shoulder. Oh, Lauren, my old friend. One day I will teach you how to read. Can we just... I heard that was a thing that I just plugged my head into it and I learned all tons of things. I never got to get that. That is how I will teach you how to read. I do not have enough time to actually do it. Okay. Zedek <laughs> might be having an alcohol fueled nightmare at the moment because he's just <laughs> he's not here. He's not here right now. Yeah, so at this point Pi is going to look around and he's going to draw out his sword. Well then, friends! It seems as though we must go to the Unit 4 in order to cleanse the infestation here and purge this place from the smells. Afterwards, we will travel to the ghouls, ghost stars, and oh, face what? untold adventures and oh. die! Oh, oh. But I... we are not going to the ghoul stars. We are proceeding along the path as we were indicated to do so. Ghoul stars. We're also not going to die. Stars. But, well, but how else would we create our legend? Not, not by no. dying. We're not here to oh. make legends. We're here to get points. Let me but, uh, points is but... part of the legend. Let, let's just go to uniform. We'll figure it out later. I begin That's a great to... idea. I, I, I begin, let's, let's just go take care of the smell first. Then points later. Yeah, bring me more guns. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> just we'll, keep going. we'll find a way to get him more guns. And like he gets this toothy smile and waves at you with with one of his hands. Well, you will come back soon, okay? Okay, okay. We'll, yes, we'll be right back. We are going to be back for some time. I'm glad that we have the 40k equivalent of Boomhauer in our fucking <laughs> campaign. As we all leave, Brain is going to look at Captain Zedek. You know, I like that guy. He says what we're all thinking. Just keep going. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're all walking away, and just in the background, he's giving the most excited wave, like, big <laughs> smile, like, bye! Um, 
Yeah, and 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 you you exit, and um, so Zedek, you're wanting to lead the way to Septic Unit Four. Yes, let's go dive down in the crap swamp. Let's find the source of the smell. Okay, um, I want you to tell me what skill you possess will let you know where Septic Unit Four is, because I think Septic Unit Four might be something that's normally be- beneath your station. Uh, I would like to make an awareness check. Okay, okay, so you're, like, looking around your immediate vicinities for like, am, a sign, a sign is, that points to Septic Unit 4. is absolutely bullshitting his way to the lower decks. He does not know the fucking layout of the lower part of his ship. Be- beautiful. You and fucking Lieutenant Ransom. Well, they're well, just the common citizens. Yep, of course. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, got a, I got a crazy question. Would it be okay. possible for us to not go into the fucking sump pump? Certainly there has to be like some kind of, not a camera, but like a sensor. that we You mean can like, like a servo skull we can just send in? Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not. And Reeb is also kind of above like treading through sewage. He doesn't. Oh, so we, I, I'm right there with you. We're not going to go in it necessarily. Well, we then why don't we use some kind of remote viewing device? Certainly, we have a servo skull around here. Some, That's an excellent idea. Captain, or something. Uh, Captain Zedek, uh, with your awareness test, you don't see any immediate signs that point you to Septic Unit Four, so you're just kind of bullshitting the direction you're leading your your fellow teammates. <laughs> oh yeah, it's you know it's right around the corner here. There's an elevator. We can we can <sighs> take that down there. It'll it'll certainly lead us there. Hey, I Dion. know what I'm doing. Yes, Pi. From uh, mine and Lauren's Batman murder games, would we have <laughs> a better idea of the lower decks? Yeah. God. It's our downtime activity. Do we get, yeah, you know, downtime we... activity is killing people on the lower decks. <laughs> like a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> so All right. Can... What fucking Perhaps... skills are you going to like use to tell me your fucking Psychic awful mastery? Mode? Jesus oh, God. Christ. Fucking Christ. No. It's legit. It's legit. Why, I why, use my I, psychic mastery to navigate everything I do. <laughs> Lord, you, if you, you punch you, a that, hole in the ship. That's the whole point of not being able to use it for everything, <laughs> Lorne. <That's, laughs> Give me a psychic like, mastery test. Give me a psychic <laughs> mastery test. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna corrupt. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> it's gonna corrupt. Okay, it didn't, Jesus but I Christ. rolled a nine. Nice. Um... All right, Lauren. So your psychic mastery, like you, you get these these visions of hunting your nemesis. But in Whoa. no time when you when you hunted your nemesis, did you ever come close to to something called septic unit four? Oh fuck you! <laughs> you're like your 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 chases took place far away from the septic units. What about when I was hunting my nemesis? What skill would you like to bullshit propose for me? <laughs> Weapon skill? <laughs> oh, <laughs> going to punch a hole in the pipes and we're going to be flooded. I just, I just want to point out, much like last episode, and here come all the comments. Like, this GM won't allow fucking anything. Can't believe you would let them, you know, track their foes with weapon skill. Roll me a fucking weapon skill. <laughs> When my son God yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 This is perfect. This is fucking perfect. All right. So I'm assuming what you're doing, Pi, is as you're all like following Captain ZX, like you know, non-guidance. Lauren is, like, back ca- using psychic mastery to, like, relive past events that's gone on and try to spot, but you were never close. And you're using weapon skills. So what that tells me is you're, like, probably drawing your power sword and and hoping to, like, recreate some of your kill strokes to, like, remind you of where you were. Does that sound about I'm right? I'm literally reenacting the crime scene. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or you just like, Lauren right mm, beside you. Doesn't yes. get it. Um, so I, you I, I jumped from on high and I did this. 
So you complicate, ah. and I'm going to really thank one of our uh, uh, Patreon uh, donators oh, for yeah. this for this lovely complication. Thank you, Zero uh, Defix, for negligent <laughs> discharge. When yes. drawing and aiming no. your weapon, it accidentally goes off early, hitting an ally, bystander, or just the wrong enemy. It could <laughs> also occur with a melee weapon if an ally slash bystander is in an adjacent square. <laughs> the run. accidental target can roll to uh, reduce or avoid the incoming damage. Now, I'm going to be a generous GM here, and I'm not going... I'm going to say that you don't use this to skewer one of your teammates. Instead... Captain Zedek has led you to the infamous engineering crew, who you immediately draw your sword and stab one of them as you're attempting to recreate. <laughs> Should I roll damage? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let, let's All see right. what your power sword yeah. like. I'll shift one exalted this. die. Fuck yeah, like, you! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many more maintenance logs I'm going to get because of that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, with with damage fifteen, oh. the sufficient amount of damage to probably hurt a fucking space marine. You you just draw your sword like some fucking child, like I'm gonna play swords and cut off a man's head. And there's this just this, this thing thump as the engineer's head hits the ground, and then a second thump when the engineer's body falls on top of it. And Can all it? of you at that point, I think, stop walking. Well, I, I we stop walking. And I, I imagine. Wait, I imagine as the body fall i imagine this guy's kind of like half tech or whatever that the tech priest person has he's basically like he's like a, like a barely so, augmented human like no no, yeah. no like at least an augmented that has like a wi-fi connection and now it's dead so the wi-fi is now off and then all of a sudden you just hear something printing to the side or like can't 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 it's a list of going i require an additional engineer crewmate from the person <laughs> constantly complaining Oh yeah, yeah. So just like two Captain Zedek. So so um uh, so Reeb, how how do you react to seeing this? <laughs> oh bloody hell! I'm going to dive forward and I'm going to prop up the engineer and I'm going to roll Holy uh, shit. I'm, I'm going to roll oh God, on the Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to like reattach the head? Uh, yes, I'm going to uh, use my unnatural Medicaid as a means of reducing the dam the, the difficulty modifier. Okay. So that I can see. Oh my okay. god. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> Please recapitate him. Oh my god. <laughs> sure. Oh, it's a complication. Oh. Oh. Of course it is. Of course it's a complication. <laughs> Please roll. Please roll. Exalt or uh, ruin or whatever. Not, oh Rath god. Die. Rath. Um, all right, I'll wrath it. Fine. I mean, oh, I mean wrath. we're not going anywhere. Right. Chat, Reeb needs more right. wrath, die. No, no, no. Okay, no. Okay. They're, they're, my, they're the ones on my sheet. Yeah. Um, well, six still isn't enough to save a man from death who from decapitation. Um, oh, good God. Um, okay. Let's, there he attaches, let's see. but. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just looking to see what we have here because, okay, I think we've used most of yeah, the, if it's not going to fit, it's not going to fit. Just, just continue on here. Yeah. Just no, no, no. I was just wanting to, I just, just wanted to see what we break, had from our patrons. Uh, was can that I break his knee or something? Can I break like Pi's knee? <laughs> what? That's, that's hard. <laughs> that's, that's a bit harsh. I mean, um, it's made out of metal. I'm I let's see. So you're you're grabbing this body and you're trying to reattach the head. Um you you fail and complicate um as you're attempting to do this. Um I am going to say that the complication here is someone arrives on scene that you weren't expecting. Uh-oh. No, no, not going on that way. And like as you've like half stapled the head on, it peels off, and all the like stitches you were putting on pop, and it just rolls back on the ground. But uh, that's when you hear this clang, 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 like this dragging on metal sound. Oh, good! The sabotage have found us again, and emerging from the the like 
corridor and you can find that you're like in this this massive uh industrial chamber that you're just at the edge of the engineer was working at a station there when you had uh poorly decapitated him but coming out from the shadows is this immense figure that towers almost twice as tall of, as you uh its body is made out of me- of, of metallic enhancements with like several claw like arms coming out at various angles and this silken red robe that trails as its bulky body uh, pushes forward the bulk of its body being some kind of almost metallic drawer system that it lifts up and puts down with every footstep and it's face has these blue glowing eyes with a metal rebreather and captain zedek you recognize this as tech priest gam move 4224 oh hello again tech priest we seem to have stumbled upon one of your engineers who encountered a operator error there she is he came right at me. You all saw that. Greetings, Flashling Captain. Uh, well, I uh, Reeb's just gonna like l- take his hands off the head of the engineer at this point, just kind of let it fall off. That's a lost cause. Damn it. The loss of life is not acceptable. It will go on the list. And she immediately has one of her lower um, appendage hands pull out an auto quill and open the one of the uh, shelves on the drawer unit in her base. And it produces this paper that it begins scratching on. Oh, no. Oh, boy. A chest full of grudges. Tech grudge. Why are you here, Captain? I have come to requisition a servo skull so that we may explore the fetid depths of unit, septic unit four. Captain, I believe that's a lost cause at this juncture. I'm Are not... you telling me that you have finally deigned to investigate one of the items on my list? A twinkle in Zedek's eye as he realizes he may be able to get out of murdering one of his, well, associating himself with the murder of one of his crew members again. I say, so better not be murdering her. We only just fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steal his thunder. <laughs> I'm not it's that a- much of an egoist. <laughs> he gets really mad that Brain's at the center of this criminal investigation. <laughs> I should be at the center of a criminal investigation. <laughs> and Lauren's like, I should be solving it, damn it. That's my thing now. Yeah, yeah. it's my thing. I'm, I'm still on the case, though. <laughs> yes, we have... We have come to fix one of the issues, finally. It's very stinky in the lower depths, Dex. Zedek's not handling his liquor well today. Uh, And we could very much use your assistance. I know there's a very long list of routines and maintenance. I am detecting elevated emotional response that indicates that you are lying to me. Are you lying to this lovely lady here, Zedek? So rude. Roll for deception. <laughs> yeah. Roll for deception. Yeah. I am not lying. I am a very truthful comes. and generous Here man. it comes. I just want to see it. Just let it happen. Just, oh, okay. Oh. You got two, but. So, so a two is not enough to just, like, you, you are spin... sweating down your brow. Yeah, you can spend wrath to try to spin a wrath. rally and re-roll that. I'm going to spend a wrath to re-roll. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see what you get. He has to do re- did you click re-roll? I yeah, yeah, the re-roll, re-roll button. So he could still re-roll. complicate on a re-roll? Yeah. Holy um, shit, it's amazing. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. Alright, now we can point at him and laugh. <laughs> um you're yeah, you just have like sweat just beating down your face at this point. <laughs> and 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 you're 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 having like a really hard time keeping composure. <laughs> and how like how is it plainly obvious that you are lying to her? Like what what thing, like obvious thing do you do that that just gives it entirely away? 
Oh, other than the, the, the literal bullets I'm sweating right now, the yeah, fact yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah. trying to keep a straight face and my lip is just trembling, trying not to crack a smile. <laughs> Very uh, visibly trying to hold back a smile. I do appreciate the the art that we have for this particular scenario because we just have Captain Zedek pointing a fucking gun at her. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Hello, Captain. <laughs> I, I also want to point out how awesome this art looks. Yeah, uh, Ru- uh, Rude okay. Rubicant did this one as well. Oh, she, did did a, she did an amazing yeah. job. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is spectacular. Yeah, and like the dresser thing was, was not like really requested. And I'm like, that's where she puts all the grudges. <laughs> and it works out very well. Filing cabinet of grudges. The filing cabinet of irritations. Yes. <laughs> also, I recommend anybody trying to translate this thing on video to screenshot it. Yeah, probably make your life a little bit easier. (laughs) I appreciate the chat is trying to Uh, decipher the binary. Can I can I jump jut ahead of our dear captain here before something bad happens? Yeah, yeah. Like like you're just sweating and like stammering a response, Zedek, and and the complication is is just that you don't respond to her. Like you you just have difficulty interacting with her. Uh, Captain, one side, please. I'm going to just very lightly jostle Captain Zedek out the way. Just like move him like a statue. <laughs> I'm I'm just literally like a statue. You just kind of turn me away. Hello, Camo. We have not spoken previously. I am Reeb Van Horn. You may have a log file on me. I'm trying very hard to get these um, various irritations you continually send to us taken care of. I'm not the captain. I have very little leeway. Can you please just lend us this so we can get this one done? I am begging you. And I'll do you a, have saved a servant of the Omnissiah before, so I am willing to show you some consideration. Yes, yes, your groveling pleases this unit, so I, I will, I will relent in my interrogation <laughs> of the captain. Even, even if it didn't, I mean that persuasion. Okay. <laughs> seven in the glory. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, jeez. May we play right. fire controls for it? We we needed to explore the subdeck so we may find out where this issue is occurring from. I have already sent in a servitor skull, one Kyle Mayer, to investigate. <laughs> and poor I'm bastard. sorry. That, that just that just tickles me so much because the idea is that, that that's not the designation of the skull. That's just who used to own it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's the owner of the skull specifically, not the servo part. It's whoever donated the skull. The skull has not yet returned. I require flesh units to investigate. Uh, you will all do nicely. Well, do we have hazard suits? They will not be necessary. The, oh, un- the units and air in there are sterilized with uh, I raise cycling a hand. processes. I raise a hand. Just waiting for my Yes. Hand. Can I have a trash bag to put my beard in? So it doesn't get the gross in it. Uh, do you have like any, would you like to make a persuasion check, Lorne, to get a trash bag? Can I, do I have to roll up the <laughs> persuasion to ask bag? politely? Yes. Fuck. I got a one. <laughs> yeah! Because I can't go in Your care for your fleshlingness is understated and noted. And another one of her hands goes in, opens one of the filing cabinet drawers, and pulls out what is clearly a plastic bag and reaches it towards you. This will suffice. Uh, thank you. I put on the... <laughs> I put my beard in it. <laughs> just like, I just and like, yeah, so as the rest of the conversation is going on, you just hear that like crackling of plastic as Lorne is adjusting yeah. his beard in I'm, this. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just trying to fuck it. It's, it's Honestly, really hard. It's, it's really was, fucking hard. <laughs> Thurston, how I was imagining that as she's reaching out with the bag and she's just going to start like trying to suffocate Lorne with it. <laughs> <laughs> just put like a Walmart fl- bag over her. No, she, no. She's, 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 she's pretty indifferent to uh to to you like to to lauren she actually kind of likes you reeb uh zedek and pie it's well yeah yeah, we got fucking doofus and dumpus over here ignoring the goddamn request to fix things (laughs) pie Pie is raising his hand (laughs) 
<laughs> yes, menial Skatari, what is it you wish to contribute to this conversation? Wait, what did you just call me? <laughs> Hi. She towers, like like going up another several six feet and about a half a dozen mechadendrite arms go out in what can only be described as a come at me bro pose. And she's like, you heard what I said, or are your auditory systems malfunctioning like the rest of your units? They were built in Forge World Lemuria, were they not? Substandard. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm gonna charge. Person, <laughs> <laughs> can you actually can you have not sit down and cry? <laughs> Charge all out attack. Thurston, can I roll agility to stick out my foot and trip him? Uh, yes. Can I help? Yeah. Wait, wait. Can I help with, ah, uh, crap, what's the spell called? Hold up. Hold up. Can I help with a phantom grip to grab his other ankle and trip him with that so he falls face forward? Okay, uh, I got it. Yeah, yes, you can. Okay. Okay, uh, I your, roll it, def- and I got a four, which is all I needed to actually like, succeed, so. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, all right. This is uh this is interesting. Um so would you like to Captain Zedek, sorry, are you interfering at all in this? No, like I'm at this point, point I, I wouldn't Captain- be surprised if you shot him with the arc pistol, so you tell me what you're doing. I will set the arc pistol to tickle fingers. <laughs> so am I just the lowest the psychic psychic grip? Like not able to go uh, for I want you I want you to let's see here. Um, give me uh, what's a good good option here? You know what? Give me a strength test. I would love nothing more. Oh, uh, yeah. So three. So you go rushing forward, Pi, as like Captain Zedek looks and like tries to fiddle with the settings of the arc pistol, and Reeb sticks out his his foot and kind of kind of off balances Pi a bit. But then it's 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 Lorne who uses his psychic powers to really wrench your. Uh, your other ankle, and as you try to put force behind it to keep moving, you you don't, and you go sprawling forward and landing face first, just in front of the dresser uh, filing cabinet unit of uh, Gamu four two two four. And at that, she immediately returns back to her normal size. The various mechadendrite hands coming in, and she moves her head to look down at you, and like as you've fallen during your charge attempt you fall in face up and like your your mechanical eyes meet and you just you you don't like none of the rest of you hear this but you you pie you hear this and she just looks down and she's like Grya Grya will pay <laughs> Anyways, Captain, now that this insufferance is dealt with, will you please continue your investigation into the Septic I'll unit? show you an insufferance! I'll kill you! I'll render every bone in your body to dust! I, 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 I take my brain. Stab. <laughs> I, I take his brain. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. I, I just like the idea that, Lauren, you, like, start dragging him back towards the party. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm just as he's on his back power. flailing. I'm just seeing him first. claw into the thing, just like just his trench marks of the claws. <laughs> I'm just pulling them back. I find it so absolutely incredible that for being the most technologically advanced member of the crew, Pi just so often resorts to Dungeons and Dragons Barbarian, I rage. <laughs> <laughs> I rage and I that's, charge it. That's, that's, that's really hard. important to Pi's character. <laughs> I rage and I charge. <laughs> um, and, with, and with that, uh, as we, we yeah, oh my God. Yeah. So I see we're four, being dragged away. <laughs> um, and, and Pi is dragged back while futilely uh, struggling. Oh, I think shit. we should take a quick five minute break and then we will come mm-hmm. back for mm-hmm. the continuance. Oh, of this Jesus. Session. Right. All right, we'll be right back, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone, to Warhound. Last we left off, a giant tech priest lady was about to destroy Brain. And I think the adventurers are now heading off to deal with a problem, right, Thirsty? Yeah, yeah. So having uh, having defeated the not intended but apparently became one tech priest Gamu 4224 encounter, um, the... Uh, the group makes its way into Septic Unit 4, which has a various channels of, of sewage, sludge, and other unseemly liquids floating down with one meter wide walkways on each side. A very traditional uh, imperial sewer unit. You're making your way through here, and though Tech Priest Gamu has assured you that there's uh, nothing awful in the area in terms of assailing your senses, it does smell particularly horrible as you walk down these paths. That sounds like a really tough burden for you guys to bear. <laughs> Jerk move! <laughs> you know, smell anything? Yes, I, I didn't say it earlier, so I am saying it now. I'm glad we don't use webcams or anything, because you would have just saw me look over to my other monitor mad. I know, <laughs> and you would have mad. seen me scrabble in it, and that would have been bad for my optics. Um, excellent. Okay, so uh, what what kind of uh, marching order do we have as you're walking down these, like, appropriately? You know, I'm third. Person wide? Okay, you're third. Oh, okay. Pi is first, solemnly. I will walk second. Green's like, third. obviously depressed. Okay, 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 okay. So head down cast. Can we, can we get a bucket mitt tie of brain now? Uh um, so, me tie. So brain brain was first, then it was Zedek. Then um, it was Lorne, then it was Reeb in the back. Sure. Hi. Okay, perfect. Cool. Yeah, um, and you you start making your way through this uh sewer area. And again, you're you're just seeing this this sludge that's steadily moving but it's moving at a snail's pace um, and you just hear this like as like gases are popping out of the sewage water and you see things that are floating in the water um, you know either like chunks of food some like animal bones from some foods, some, some meals previous. Um, further down, you see a cardboard box that's just labeled free kittens that's floating down in the water. Is there anything in it? I mean, it's floating in the water. You don't know if there's anything in it. It just says free kittens written on the side of it. Okay, I'll open it. Because you're going to make me angry, I think. Okay, so you like, like, kind of reach over into the water to to grab this box and bring it close to you. Yep. Yeah, you you open it and there's there's nothing inside of the box. Oh, oh, they already got adopted. Good. Yay! They all found a good home. Yeah. Yep. They, they all found <laughs> Yay! Home. There you go. I love Noble blah, Bright. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you just hear this sound off in the distance. Blah, 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 blah. And then it fades and stops. Let us go and investigate this sound for the Omnissiah. Uh, oh, you, you, you act like you've just been castrated. Come on. I've never been castrated. But <laughs> <laughs> how could you see it the way I, she I, spoke I, to me? I have never been castrated. <laughs> I've never been castrated, but... Oh but there's one time. I will be forced to verbally castigate you in front of your peers. No, oh, no! <laughs> Brain, just because you didn't see IO to IO port doesn't mean you'd have to get all down on yourself. No, it's not about that! You wouldn't understand, Zedek. The Omnissiah has blessed you, but you lack his metal touch. Brain, let me tell you something about tech priests. Something about tech priests. I pat him on the back. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Flashlight bombs. <laughs> Flashlight bombs. You hear the voice of Gamu four two two four bursting from your uh, Vox unit, Captain Zed. Ah! It's audible, kind of echoing down the sewers. 
You are making slow progress, sir. Should I send in a more qualified unit of servitors? No. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, we don't have to do any of this. I have one chance to get her off my back for one day. Let me have this. We don't have to do it. We have to crawl through the crap swamp to get the thingy. We, can everyone give me a test, please? Oh, boy. Yeah. A Back what here. test? Awareness. Oh, Activate boy. the awareness beam. Oh, no. Mm. My awareness is garbage, and it shall be rolling me a two. A two, Reeb has a three, Zedek has a one, and Pi Brain. Has a three. Oh, shit, I forgot. What? Didn't you roll? Oh, that's his strength. No, yeah, this is strength. He rolled strength. He I rolled strength, strength to see. Got it. <laughs> uh, okay. So as, I as like his, I got these discussions are going on, um, Reeb, you notice up ahead at one of these sort of corner areas of this, this walkway, what looks to be a, a tent that's been set up from some kind of military grade tarp that's been set up with metal poles and there's all of this um like empty ration units that are sprinkled around the tent mm. Very peculiar. I, think, I think we found where the previous team ended up or at least where they were yes but why would they set up a tent down here sure they could, have come up at, they could have come up with the ladder they don't have to stay down here in the muck Reeb, Reeb, when I say that this is a literal crap swamp, it is a literal crap swamp. You have to make base camp down here if you're going to explore the full depths of the septic pumps. You don't need to explore the septic pumps. You're going to find poop. That's all you're going to find, Captain Poop. The idea is to find more than poop. <laughs> there is more than there is more to the pump than poop, Reeb. But why would you want to hunt through it for anything other than poop? That is all that there is down here. Excrement. You don't need to explore it. If anything valuable got flushed down here, leave it. And as you as you say that, uh, Reed, that's when you get close enough to the tent to notice that there is a data slate, a chrono, and two syringes that have been pretty well preserved on top of a box at the back of the tent. Hmm. I hope they weren't doing space jankum. No, they're doing foot drugs. <laughs> no space jankum. <laughs> no. <laughs> They were taking foot drugs. Uh, can I do a Medicaid to see what the syringes... Are they labeled with anything, or are they just, like, not a They seem to be kind of bog-standard syringes. You could give me a Medicaid test to see if you can identify. Oh, boy, I'm going to give you a Medicaid test. Medicaid! I'm going to complicate it, and I'm going to inject myself with it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, to know what this nice. drug is. No. You got an uh, eight. Yeah, the eight is absolutely sufficient. You notice that these are like these are uh, the item stims, so oh, they're stim. essentially like high high tech combat drugs uh, that are in a single use injector, and they can be used as part of a Medicaid test and restore one d three plus three shock. So can I add two stim to my inventory for my absolutely? You can. Thank you, please. You don't take those items, treasure. Then, yeah, there's a chrono unit and a data slate. Uh, what's Item that? has what been I... acquired. <laughs> <laughs> I have acquired drugs. Nice. Um, what is a chrono unit? Chrono unit is essentially a small timepiece, typically strapped to the wrist. Oh, you mean a watch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we use we use grimdark terms here. It's like grim dark. Stupid. In this, in this case, the chrono's display has been set for uh, shipboard time. Uh, Shit port or ship port? Shipboard. I like the other one better. I would certainly help it be shipboard time because if they were scheduled for anything else, it'd be a little concerning. It's like, why are you, why are you set to Rocky Mountain time? We're in space. All right, so Ooh. I, I, I guess let's continue investigating Ooh. at this point on, on, on your, on your front, Captain Zedek. And then there's also the data slate. That's I would like to slate. pick up the data slate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reed, you, you, you pick it up, Captain Zedek. You see that it's one of your bog standard crew assignment timetables. Like these are the schedules you give to your crew members.
Do you remember what crew member this is? Do you know this one? Or did you forget about them too? (laughs) Zedek's going to look very flustered for a moment and say, no, I didn't forget about this one. This one is, looks feverishly for the name on the data slate. (laughs) 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 Uh, Don't you remember all 20 what the fuck ever thousand people on your ship? (laughs) Uh, I am going to say that this it requires like your your charm and, and personality, Captain said. Give me just a flat fellowship test. I would be happy to. Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> at least I oh. got a glory. A glory. Oh, no. You can get a glory. To the um, thing. Oh dear. And you you see the name uh, on it who you don't recognize uh but you see the name Sven Lingenfelter this belonged to Sven Loganberry he was a respected member of the engineering crew and i knew him well i look at the data pad and i read it and then what what actual position does it say uh, so this was someone who was stationed at uh, the the sensorium, the sorry, the third backup sensorium unit on the strategium. So this would be like the backup, backup, backup sensors operator on the the bridge. It is not an engineering position. It is an. I look at Zedicon. Really? The fuck does it say right there? Oh, but can Lauren read? <laughs> yeah, can you read, Lauren? I said. Oh, oh that's a good point. I, I don't it? know. <laughs> let's let's decide, game master. Can I read? Uh, I'll let you make the decision. Does hmm. Lauren can Lauren read? No, Lauren nope. can read, but only Lauren badly. can't read shit. This is what <laughs> we call a scholar of going, convenience. Ah, oh, that's neat looking. I used to have these runes to read. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I assume. I assume when 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 like. Zedek is all like, it's the engineering department pie brain who can read, probably notes the discrepancy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Engineering department. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, Zedek, you see. Why did you lie to me? Yeah, I trusted you! I come up, I come up with the brain, and I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, I didn't know we would party with a fucking liar, and then just... I already <laughs> thought you were cool, and you lied to me! I, I am off- cool, look at my sh- look at my coat, it's super cool, look at me! <laughs> I, I, off- I offer a shoulder for brain to cry on as oil stains to start coming, yeah, just- dripping <laughs> down. Read expecting the nearby the- area. Windshield yeah, wipers um, start activating on the eyes. Yeah, yeah. What a terrible start to Captain Senek Day this is. <laughs> That'll be a thing. That's going in the GM ammunition yeah. folder. Um, Max, you know, Captain, you're going to tell me that all of the maintenance problems on the ship are somehow your fault. Okay, uh, I'm going to need you to sit down on, for this you've, one. You've kind of got a sense of where you are, <laughs> and you've just finished passing by the um, passing by this little like shanty tent and into a much larger uh, sewage chamber. There is a large air recycling unit that is in the center of this chamber, and then there's various um, different canals that go off. There are these sort of corroded metal walkways that go for a few of the areas, uh, and I'm just going to shift us over to this fancy map I got here. That should show all of you the, the general area. Fancy! Hope, hopefully you can all see it. Um, I can, and, but... Yeah, can, uh, can, can, is can, is can, it can, perpetual can. darkness for anyone else? I or I, I can I see. Can okay, yeah, 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 we're too. good. I can finally see! You have updated good. my tokens! I have fixed it! Um, all right, so the, there's this like big air recycler unit right here. Uh, you notice that there's like this buildup and bubble of water right over here, and uh, the, the path kind of seems to carry on with steps leading down, but you're not sure what's there. It looks like some kind of blockage. I haven't had one of those in a hot minute at least. What's well, a hot minute to you? Did you get it after the dealership fucked you over with the ship or what? 
Look, the dealership gave me the ship. I don't have any say in that matter, but whatever, nerd. As far I'm as getting, I know, we I'm gonna make my way in. there. And yeah, he's sure. Gone. Like, and he's Lord, gone. you start walking Lord, in front of the group. Me. Okay. You should have checked the ship facts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ship rocks. Yeah, ship ship. Uh, what is Vox? I don't know. Ship Grox? What's the ship, closest ship, animal alternative with ship. an X? Yeah, whatever. So are you guys going, like so to, to get a sense here? Are you are you still advancing as like a cohesive unit? Or are you having someone scout ahead? What are you doing? Uh, I figured we were in the same marching order as before. Is that generally you're just going to kind of stick with? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We can stick with it yeah, as well. Uh, I guess I'll look at like whatever this is. Is it working? Is it what is this? Uh, it's, it's a big it's a big air recycling unit um you would have to get closer to investigate it and make a tech check but mm. it's in some like pretty thick water you're guessing it's probably waist high water down there water indeed yes, yes. yes. Water. Hold water. On. i'm going to go and check this machine and show them all i'm going to do a running jump at this thing <laughs> Sure. What kind of that's athletics? You want to give me athletics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. are you trying to jump on its side so you don't land in the water? Like you're on top of like one of these little like yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Give me athletics. Oh no. That's, oh, that's not good. let's roll, roll one. a wrath. Yeah, let's wrath that. Yeah, yeah, five. I'm absolutely. So yeah, like Pi, you turn to the group. I'm going to investigate this. Whoa! And then you just land, and there's this immense clang of metal as you you like land on the side of it, holding on with your your one free arm. Yeah. Is there like anything on there that's like like a giant symbol of like Forge World Graia? <laughs> Are you? Sorry, are you spending like time specifically looking for that? That's kind of your action. Like, I don't care about the state of this thing. I just want to know if there's something I can deface on it. No. Yeah, give me an awareness test. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I'm pulling out my copy to I'm looking, and the part of it just says, "I bet this is a photo of crime machine. Oh, how wonderful it's running." <laughs> Too. Uh, <laughs> if there is something, it's not on the precarious side you were on. So, as like for the rest of you, you've seen Pi make this, you know, three meter jump across, landing on top of this this metallic air recycler unit. Uh, are the rest of you kind of waiting for him to finish? Or are you going to continue advancing up? What are you? I'd like to wait for him to finish messing with the air recycler because he is. Oh, I mean, he's he wants to keep so good at tech, but he's. It's, we just need to have him be so good. Okay. It'd be so good. good. Uh, Captain what do Zedek, you see? Or? What do you see, Brain? Uh, 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 I guess I'll do a check. Check, 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 check. Oh, tech. Tech. Rolls dice. Is that cool? Bro, sure. Bro, you just tech tech on my air recycler. Bro, tech tech. I do a kickflip with my fingers. I break your knee. Cool. Okay. I die. Um, yeah, you can tell that this unit appears to be operating correctly. Now, while this is going on, the rest of you, um, as, as like, Pi Brain is really focused, kind of holding onto the side of this thing with one arm as he's using his combi tool to check out the rest, you start to see small ripples in the water. And, and everything that happens now happens really quickly because this form bursts out of the water. Um, it, what it resembles is this kind of chitinous, um, there are this chitin-coated creature with these small forelimbs and these t t like tiny tentacles coming out of their mouth. It's probably the size of like a big dog uh, with this sort of frilled back. It looks like a mite that's grown to immense proportions. Uh, and I'm just going to show this to everybody as it pops out of the the water here. Captain, your continued negligence of the subdecks of your ship is coming back to haunt you and us. And two of them burst out. Now, this is um, something that's happening on our end. Um, this is a uh, this is a surprise ambush round, which means I get to act first, and the only way any of you can decide to act is if you want to spend a glory. That sounds great. Uh, so yeah, I can spend a glory. Would you, we have would a you lot of. We have I a still, lot of glory. I still, I still get to go with the first action though. So one of them comes out, okay. splashes over to there, 
And um, yeah, so like we see Pi Brain is is really working on um, the, the side of this and trying to figure it out. And then this thing bursts out of the water and kind of makes this high speed jump, like this just immense leap towards him. And as it does so, it begins flailing with these small proboscis. And Ugh. it... Horrifying. It does, like, essentially a running charge at you as it hops out. Boop. Uh, but a two, I do not think, will hit your uh, defense. Will it? it won't. But yeah. I'll do a counterattack. Okay. With his uh, new Pi thing he got. Yes, Pi recently bought in his <laughs> adventures, if you want to call him that in the lower deck, a counterattack feat, which allows me to, when I am targeted, to make a reflexive action to attack back. Yeah. Um, and I will do that right now. Um, do I hit him? Uh, that will. What number did you him. get? I yeah. got a six for there those sitting at home. Yeah. yeah there, there you, you go. go. Yes. I, I know how to do the role play game. Yeah. Um, and I, it has a defensive two, so you may oh, shift one exalt if you wish. I would love nothing more. Yeah. We'll roll some blamage. I said roll some blamage. Roll some blamage. Let's go, roll 20. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh, You you raise up your blade and bring it down and just slice through this thing. And um, it it just looks like it's going to just completely die and fall in the water, which it does. I was like, I'm like, I was waiting. I wanted to stab something. So just now, at this point, do any of you want to uh, spend glory to interrupt and stop the other one? Mm. I will seize the initiative and do some. Yeah, go ahead. Setting. All right. So okay. we spend so one spend glory. The glory that. That. Yeah, yeah, electrify the help. water. I will not electrify the water. That would probably be counterintuitive. I mean, no. range not in it. That is true. I'm not. But yeah. it might destroy the other systems. So I will. Declined to do that, and it's I instead will shoot screwed. it with my arc pistol. It, it could be worse. We don't want to make it worse. There might be more I bugs mean, in the water, and you'd be killing them. Oh no! Or you uh, could you just do hit. hit. You do you hit with the arc pistol. Oh. You spend your last um, wrath. No, oh wait, uh, my my apologies. You do not hit it. Um, it has a defense of three because it is currently covered by the water. Ah, uh, so you could spend your wrath to hit to, to try to make that hit. <laughs> I'll spend a couple glory. Yeah, or spend a couple glory. If you we have four to. glory so far. I would like to spend a glory. We'll spend, spend a glory. glory, see if you get one extra. Just That's roll like a d6. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, whoop, nope, you fucked. No. Nope. <laughs> and you really marked, uh, Lauren, you marked the, the glory down for him seizing the initiative too? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, then it goes. So, so yeah, Pi, you skewer the one that comes out of the water. Uh, Captain Zedek Deft on oh, his feet, actually. does like a hop, turn, shot, and fires. Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, the other one, attracted by, by Zedek's uh, arcing misfire, comes rushing towards you, Captain Zedek. Uh, it uh, also gets a charge and makes an attack. Oh, I would like to so, coming out. So I would like to raise my trap card. Chat donated yes. very early in this stream to make yes. that a complication. To make what a complication? That attack a My. complication. Oh, oh. It is a oh, game okay. master thing, but uh, it doesn't have any grenades because the person specified 1d4 grenades get pins get pulled, but this is not how oh. A lack and alas, it does not have a grenade. <laughs> but <laughs> it's oh a shame that this flea doesn't have a grenade. <laughs> yes, apologies. <laughs> Apologies, but I will, I will, I will, um, you know what? I will bank that in our, uh, in our complications list for later. Grenades, son. <laughs> so it's now like everyone knows, do not carry grenades. Yeah. Um, and it, uh, what's your defense, Captain Zedek? Uh, I, it is too, but I would have liked to sidestep as a reflexive action. Okay. So, and that for the masses, what does that do for you? Sidestep as soon as my roll 20 does not activate. You gain double your rank, so plus two defense and resilience. Yes, you does. can only sidestep once per round, though. That's perfectly okay. fine. Cool. All right, so yeah, it uh, it leaps out and misses. Uh, at this point, would any well, of you like to spend it? Still the, needs uh, to do a complication thing. We can't bank it to the thing because they did the thing for the thing to happen. Okay, fine. You can't bank those. 
That's true enough. All right. Um, that's not good. Let's see on the complication what... table. What happens to this poor mite? Uh, that is a uh, that won't work because that would be out of ammo and it's using a melee attack. <laughs> so we'll try that again. So we have 25 on the complications, so that would be also out of ammo. God damn it. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Again. No. 14. 45. 45. That's, there we go. That's the better one. Well, um, technically it is. It doesn't have any ammo. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fair. Um, okay, it's, it's proboscises get stuck. Um, it, it's proboscis get stuck. So I'm going to say... Uh, Captain Zedek, what what do you have on you that its proboscis get stuck on when it tries to attack you? It gets stuck on my hip flask. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it's just like all of these wriggling things around. It's gonna have to make a strength test to, to break off. <laughs> all right, <laughs> that's that. Are any of you going to uh, interrupt uh, with with glory again? Oh uh, no, no. Mm, I mean. Mm. I mean, that thing already went. What else you got? I don't know. You don't see anything else. Oh, well, let's just let him happen. Get, bring it on. Okay. Okay. Bring it on, DM. What's the worst that could happen? Fifty chaos, more show chaos. up. Something oh, what the slurps fuck is that? up from the south, coming up, and you just hear this squelching, like... <laughs> as it Very rolls cool. up the stairs... Um, and you see this lovely little critter, which looks like a grub that oh. has these like various lines of teeth, and it's just like dragging itself, and it kind of turns the corner, and it's what you guess is its sucker mouth rears back, and it lets out this almost like keening whale as it does so and it spews mm. forth acid towards you Captain Zedek. Oh dear. <laughs> but it crits you. Of course. Uh, for uh -oh. five. five. Um, a crit that goes through because it's not a mob. Yeah and this is absolutely not a mob so it will hit you. It will also um, shift one exult because I'm a jerk bag. Uh, yeah, so I'll just roll the damage first just so we get that. Uh, so it only does seven damage, which I think that... Yeah, he, he uh, takes it. That's my resilience. Yeah, that, that's lower. Um, and then it criticals you, so the critical effect mm. from its acidic slime is a 56, which is a bone-shattering impact. A crippling blow oh. smashes the foe's body, reducing arms, legs, and ribs to fractured splinters. Uh, you immediately suffer 1d3 plus 1 mortal wounds. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, uh, and that goes so through three everything. Three mortal wounds. That goes through every, like, all your defenses as this acid hits you and... Like hits you in the chest and just it kind breaks. of pushes you back. It breaks your fucking bones with a projectile acid spit. Okay. Yeah, and you're just stellar. A quick thing, because people keep bringing it up, and mm -hmm. it's not obvious to a lot of people. We know this is on the D and D category. There is no wrath and glory category. We got nothing. It, people yeah. only go to the D and D thing. That's why it's on here. So just just so yeah. people understand, because it keeps coming up and people keep getting confused. That's why it's here. <laughs> We got nothing um, else, man. So, so, so that like awful critter has has brought its way up. Um, would any of you like to now interrupt combat or risk that I have more things that might show up? Yeah, well, I mean, we kind of have to attack now, don't we? Well, you'd I have mean, to spend a glory if you want to interrupt. I'm I, going to spend a glory, but for a, a reason, not because I'm going to do something awesome. Counter attack makes it to where I can't move the turn after I use it. Okay. So if I interrupt now, when more shit comes up, I can move and respond to the threat. So I should interrupt this. Even so though interrupt I'm not to basically much. stand there? Yeah, interrupt to like, I'm going to make a shot, of course. I'm going to pull out my pistol. Okay. And I am going to make a shot at um this. Uh, All right. Wait, 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 wait. I have, I have a statement here, though, because you jumped on this thing and you're holding on to it with one hand, arm, right? And I, like, I thought I would have landed on it. 
technically, I guess. Okay, I'll I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Okay. Okay. Nice, thank you. Be, I mean, it's I, okay. Thank swap you. Swap out your guns. Swap out your guns, and then you're gonna interrupt to shoot it. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Do it. Nice. No, no, you won't. No. no ah! you, got, you got a zero. You wasted it. And got him. Please mark down that glory. Um, yeah. <laughs> can I? Can I spend a glory to also go? Uh, well, no, because now I get to go. Med bull. Yeah. I don't I want you to, to go. I want go. you to die. Well, another one comes out of the water and goes. And comes up like, again, this this leaping flea-like creature comes out and bounding through the water. And as you fire your shot towards the grub and miss terribly, suddenly in your line of sight, Pi, another one of these mites comes and it turns and it's proboscises begin to, to like reach towards you wiggling as it charges in uh, but will miss terribly no. because I cannot roll any goddamn dice today um, and uh, that's it for me critically hit Zedek what are you talking yeah. about I need to crit all the time <sighs> um, you, you broke his bones his bones true. would you like to interrupt with a glory point uh, Lorne I, I would like you if it's okay with Reeb Lorne go ahead you're going to sidekick a kill Yes, that is the plan. I I looketh upon thine enemy, and I do this special thing. You do know what's happening called Explody. So that area, okay. so that area is basically me doing flame breath. It's okay. all I'm going to be kept Ooh. for both of those. So I basically look at that Ooh. area. Like, funny, we we looked at the rule and stuff. That actually is supposed to be way bigger. Because of how meters is measured and stuff. Because we're using a traditional grid, we decided to kind of keep it like this. So it's, uh, so yeah. So I now do it, flame break. It would be, be bigger like than that. that. Yeah, it would yeah, be, it would like be that. bigger than that. It would be ridiculous. Yes. So I, I'm basically looking, trying to get both of them in there, and I go, and then it's just, and it's just a large explosion. Roll your psychic test. I need a five, and I got a fucking 11. Yeah! No, God no, damn! No, nothing. And I am going to boost the thing. I have to like, open a fucking spell tome every single time I do this. Please forgive me that it takes five years for me to do this. I can uh, heighten up two additional damage and do additional damage, or make two make it a large blast, because I don't think we want that. So uh, we're gonna, I want to... So I basically need... I just need to do difficulty five to make this happen. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I want to do two of those dice to make it two more additional damage die cool. on top of the two I already roll. Now I'm going to roll damage. That is 19 total damage to both of Ooh. those things. I look at it right. and, wow. and, 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 and a giant explosion happens there. I will spend a rune point to keep this one alive. <laughs> I you, bet you fucking you will. Dog. As you as you wash flame over everything, and then the grub, as the flames recede, some sort of dark power has reached down from the cosmos and spared this grub. I narrow my eyes and go, the warp. The warp. <laughs> it wiggles at you. Mm. Um, <laughs> And um, then I am going to go again and have another one pop out. Ah. And once again, it's just like rushing forward and basically like bounding out of the water, bloosh, 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 and goes towards Pi and uh, recoils back with bloodsucking proboscis that it attempts to attack Pi with. Whoosh, as ah, anyone please stop. No. Ah, yes, there's the critical. Good, good, good. Good. Um, and I were. What's your defense, Pi? Three? Five. Oh, your defense is five. God damn you. Uh, I still I, hit you. I need to I update our sheet then on the Arna overlay because I have you here for four. But uh, if you upgrade it, well, we'll, I'm, we'll I'm, fix five, it I'm five in our combat because of power sword. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's default yeah, four, yeah. but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I will roll damage, which will probably do like nothing, but we'll see. As it's like, the, you've now like, take, you've seen, you know, one come towards you, you've slashed it down, you fired at another one, one jumped in front of you and then was washed away in psychic flame. And then this third one, or fourth one really, comes out <laughs> and just gets in your face and goes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, first of all, I'm going to roll damage. It's probably not going to do anything yet at like yeah, seven, yeah. which I don't think even comes close to touching you. Uh, but then the crit effect 
which is a 32, which on the critical effects is a merciless strike. Ah! Uh, the blow to the foe's body steals breath from their lungs, pulverizing their innards with a nasty crunch. So, like, it's the tentacles from its proboscis are in your face and kind of obscure your vision, but the, the force behind it's leaping towards you impacts your chest plate, pushing it in slightly, and you suffer a mortal wound. <laughs> <gasps> I, I like how these things have hurt us more just by brunt force than their actual anything. Oh, yeah, have. than their actual attacks. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, he was enjoying the fact that everyone except him is very badly hurt so far. That is that is the end of anything I have. Hold on. Go. Counter attack. Uh, you can only take one reaction a turn. Yeah. Uh, but I can use it up to my rank times, too. Oh, can you? Oh, That's nice. Cool. nice. There Do you it. go. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Complication. What's the complication? Oh, what is the complication? Let's find out. Let's I do hit, it. though, right? Let's find out. Um, uh, while, while he's looking that up, Reed, two, you, two, you have a uh, Wrath Dive. Um, I meant to tell you for, way before, but you, you have one. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, no, not um, Brain. Reed. Oh, oh, I've got an extra one? Okay, cool. Yeah, you have oh. one now, so. Based, Ex Reeb. Don't say based, I hate you. Die. <laughs> Unbased. Okay. Um, Dangerously based. see here. Dangerously cheesy. Dangerously. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to use one from one of our uh, our folks who uh, put in. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Gamer 9 for this one. Um... When swinging an energy-powered weapon, the energy arcs between you and your opponent. So you go to swing. You do manage to land a blow, but there's this arc of energy that comes back towards you. Um, and you are temporarily blinded by the light. <laughs> nice! What does blinded do to me? I have uh, shown the thing, but you increase the DN for any site oh, based, yes. including combat test by yes, four. Yes. Um, and then, you know, other things as, as I deem appropriate. Uh, but you may roll damage, which I'm sure will kill this poor little mite. Yeah, yeah, yeah I absolutely will. Poor, um, indeed. Yes, yes, this poor, poor little creature. Go, damage! It's... 13! 13, good. It's it's dead. Surprise. Uh, I hate you. Oh, I... I think I forgot something. <laughs> Do you want good news, everybody? No. I would. Yes, please. Yes! Um, <laughs> can you up my rune count by, by two? Two? Okay. Because I've got two criticals on you? And every oh. time I get a critical, I get a rune dice. Uh, <laughs> I will blow you up. Blow me up. Come, come blow me up. Uh, all right, so I that's the end you. of the first combat round. We come into what is actually the non-ambush round. Uh, who wants to go first? I would like to go first and kill this parasite attack. <laughs> Wait, did Reeb me. even get the go? Oh, he, that was all a surprise round, and all of you just burned glory to keep seizing the initiative. Yeah. So that's why it cost you all your glory. Your well, at least let Reed go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to quickly just ah, dum de dum de dum de dum. Medicate. Oh, oh to I'm try to kidding. identify this thing. Oh, I want to medicate a heal Zenic because he is very low on health. <laughs> oh, fine. Yeah, give me a medication. <laughs> I'll allow it. Oh, geez, fellas. Yeah, ah. <laughs> See, you win a little bit, Jim. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay, so I forget every single time we complicate, you get like a ra like a ruin die, right? So you can shift. No, yes. no, 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 okay, not no, when no, you guys no. complicate. No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, I'll shift one to increase the amount that I heal. Yeah, so you'll heal him for two. So he'll okay. still be wounded. Um, <laughs> the complication. Roll me one d six. 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 Five. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so you are you are applying here's the, the complication that I'm going to say. It's harsh environment. Um some something in the environment changes. So you come and you are you are applying all of this medical assistance to Captain Zedek. However, I'm going to say that the the complication here is that while Zedek is fighting this thing and you are behind him applying this, that Zedek 
as a result, loses his footing and will fall into the water. He, he won't fall or be prone. He'll just be in the water. Uh, and I'm going to push you there. How deep is it? It's waist high, so he lands in and it's just up to you. Yeah, all I was doing for Medicaid, I just put like a fucking ding king on his chest and fixed it. Yeah, exactly. Oh my and, God. And so you get two wounds back, but you're like in the middle of fighting this insect thing, and then you kind of step forward and lose your footing, but manage to sidestep a little bit to land in the water, not falling prone. <laughs> well, okay. that's unfortunate. Thank, thank you, Reeb. Um, there is this like keening cry from the little uh, curse, unless any of you want to seize the initiative at this point and, and go before me. I have one glory left. Can we save it for uh, assisting on a roll? That's a good idea. Okay. I mean, uh, then, then or the I little, could spend the little... it and blow this thing away. The slime thing, so it with the grub. Well, I think good. we're good. All right, all right, all right so wait. Okay. Uh, the, the little curse mighty dude over here um, actually... No, 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 no. The sludge, the sludgy grub goes. This is what I feared. The sludge grub goes, and and, and you know what? Its sludgy little wiggle face turns towards you, Lorne. Fuck you! I see the initiative. Yeah. Can I take the glory? <laughs> <laughs> and it it spews forth. I take the glory. Would you like to seize the initiative, Lorne? Yes. <laughs> 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 I merely cast my. I, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a tiny wizard. Okay, anything that touches me, I merely die. <laughs> I cast that is smite. True. That is I cast true. fucking yeah. smite at it. It's okay. <laughs> I. I obviously got those defenses. It just oh, takes wow. any mortal wound that goes through it. I just. <laughs> Zorin. The are uh, you uh, motherfucker? <laughs> Will Next time I out? see you at a convention after this pandemic shit, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking punch you. Do you understand me? Will you, will you mark me down that room? I won't kill you! <laughs> I swear to God I will! Please oh. mark me down the rune point. You son of a fuck. The sludge gum continues to wiggle a bit. Uh, I believe that brings me to my activation. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> You know, Zedek kind of sidestepped and like moved into the water, and the the, the curse smite beside him was was definitely attacking. But like as as you know, what 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 does your smite look like, Lauren? It's just a bottle, like you know, from the Dawn of War thing. It's just like <laughs> like a big thing of lightning that goes right through. Yeah, so there's this like, blast of lightning that goes towards yeah. the grub and hits all the ground beside it because it doesn't hit the grub. And that light seems no, to no, attract it's... the attention yeah. of the yeah, curse whatever. might beside you. Uh -huh. Oh, God, you're so awful. Uh, turns oh. away from Zedek and its <laughs> blood-sucking proboscises sort of look at you as they reach out towards your face, Lord. So I have, I have like a cover advantage or something because I'm on higher ground, right? Yes. And you complicated. Fuck you. I do. What is your defense? It's it's, it's one. Okay, cool. So I'm still going to hit you, but I'll complicate so that, that'll, that'll be fine. Um, and the, the cover means I can't shift that exalt, so that's good for you. Uh, so I won't get extra damage on this. Uh, let's, let's roll me 2d6 for my combat complication. Uh, 55. What's that mean? Oh, actually, I forgot something. I'm a bad person. Before I can do any of this, I have to make a strength test to see if I got unstuck from the hip flask. Mm. Which I don't. So I am uh, I am not doing any of that, and that is my action. So uh, so Lorne, Lorne is spared because this curse might is still attached to the hip flask. The booze has saved I, me for another day. Hooray! I got to remind myself. Uh, who wishes to go next? I would like to go next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You pernicious little parasite! That was my father's! I'll kill you for this! I will attack him with my power sword. Yeah, please, please do. <laughs> Zappy time. Zappy, zappy. <laughs> <laughs> no! We got a brain tear roll over here. Yeah, hey, so. Die! Good lord. There's an eight um, in the critical of the power sword attack from Zappy. Yeah, shift two. Yeah, I don't think I uh, it's to dead! Shift. Spoiler alert! It's dead, and I'm not spending a <laughs> oh, rune to keep oh, it you, alive. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want to spin your room room points to fuck us over. No, I don't. That's my thought. 
So how do you kill this thing, Captain Zedek, <laughs> as it's strapped to your booze? Uh, as I see it stuck in my father's hip flask, I unsheath my power sword, light it up, bring it down, and just kind of very slowly saw through it. I could okay. cut it in half, but I, I really hate this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's a little screen. Like... Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, so the sludge grub, it, it's, it's gonna go now. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Hey, Lauren. Suck. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of like wiggling back a bit, you know. Uh huh. And then uh-huh. its its mouth opens up, and it just kind of goes mm-hmm. with all of this acidic yeah. spittle yeah. flying yeah, towards it. you. Let's let's see I what happens. I know it's gonna happen. Ha! My defense is one. Oh, good, 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 good. I will I will roll the damage for this then. <laughs> for nine for nine damage. What's your resilience? Six. So would you uh, roll determination on that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the last cannon. This is why I'm standing right here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Determination. Whoop. I made okay. two of them. So I took like them, one. So you take one. Yeah. So you are wounded now. So everyone is wounded but Reeb. Uh, that was its attack action. Oh, and then yeah. what it does is it walks this way. <laughs> <laughs> and it leaves. And it just like starts going whoak, 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 down the stairs as it like pulls itself along uninterested in you now. Uh, Who would like to go next? Well, I think I'm the only one that hasn't gone. Uh, that's true. Yes. So here's my question to you. Mm-hmm. Now, Pie Brain is from an oceanic forge world, which means that he likely has spent a lot of time around huge sludge pits like this one. This machine is an air purifier. Would it be possible to commandeer it to instead of, say, purify the air, to funnel this sludge water and begin purifying it with a few modifications? Uh, uh, That would be something that would take place out of combat. Okay. Well, in that case... (laughs) If you're assuming, like, oh, that's it, then fine. But I don't know if you're wanting to track this thing down. Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to move because I counterattacked, um, and I can't no, see you the can't, creature because anymore. didn't you uh, didn't you glory last round to shoot so you could specifically? I did, round? but then I yeah. counterattacked after it as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, true enough. Yeah. Wreck. So uh, I would only really be able to be useful to the party by this. Maybe I can begin the process on this machine. Maybe it won't okay. work right now, Give but maybe tech, later yeah. on I can. Yeah, complicate yeah. it. I look forward to this. Nice. Yeah, there it Very comes. Good. Here it comes. Oh, oh. I am no mere mingo. I am a uh, tech you, priest. You, yeah, you shout this and crack open one of the panels and begin looking at it. And you're like, oh, okay, there, there's maybe some stuff you could do here to to clear out the gunk in this thing and f- maybe have it do more to the water, which is what it should also be working on. Uh, hey, GM, can I, while he's messing around with this thing, can I quickly medicate Lauren? Uh, well, we're still technically in initiative. So. Oh, are we? Yes, uh, this thing just walked away. It didn't. It didn't oh, like. It didn't. It just like, left. Yeah, it just walked away. Um, but that does bring us to the start of the next round. Who wants to go? Reeb, you can go first. Uh, I will medicate Lauren, like I said. Absolutely. Get wrecked, Thurston. You can't stop me. Oh, mm-hmm. I see how that. I can stop you. Oh. I can. Yeah, that's right. I can. I can stop you. you I look at my I mortality and frown. <laughs> Yeah, 1d6. Let's see what we get here. One. Yeah, no. regardless, that brings me up to full, so I'm good. Um, hmm, okay. Uh, so you would lose some kind of item on your person as a result of this. I will lose one of my uh, stims. I can be <laughs> injecting it into uh, Lorne's head. Because you just assume it's psychological damage he's suffered before you my in my coat sleeve, so I like lean down to help out Lauren and it just kind of goes swoop. Just jabs him right <laughs> in his temple vein. Yeah. Lauren, you feel real good. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. I feel good. Um, high on drugs. And uh, you got a, a ruin point, by the way. Um, 
Why did I get a rune? Oh, did someone give people me a rune donate? Point? That's Boom. perfect. Uh, the sludge grub comes back. Hey, Lorn. Fuck you. It looks at you. I and look it at it. Back. <laughs> it sort of wiggle, quivers in anticipation. And I call then it a piece of shit. Is what I do. <laughs> As you call it a piece of shit, it spits at you. And it crits me. Well, good plan, everybody. Stop giving yourself such hubris, my dude. <laughs> oh, Lord, uh, now you're die. full on ruin. I am full on ruin, and it does eight points of damage, and let's find out what the crit is. Fluggy spitties. Mm, I rolled a termination. I know to get one. 26. 20, 26. 26 is... Ferocious rending. I don't know how acid rends you, but it sure it's does. Full of teeth. It's full of teeth. Um, you suffer 1d3 mortal wounds. Nice. Is it three? Let's find out. Yeah. We're gonna find out. Yeah. It is three. I I go like, good job, everybody. Whoosh, and I'm down and on the this, ground. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, you're all like celebrating your victory. You know, Reeb has healed you, put the good drugs in you, and then the grub comes back up the stairs, turns the corner, and just shoots another blast of its spittle towards you that burns through your chest plate and then starts going into your innards, ripping some of them apart. Um yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, uh, I just so now, fixed that. So now you're at zero, which is which is fun. Um, yes, I'm just standing here, huh? I'm just gonna be so, like standing right here. Yeah. So if you suffer more wounds than your maximum number of wounds, uh, you are you are dying. You um you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you fall prone. Did that uh, already? And you. Can roll me one d six. One d six, huh? No, so just one d six. I got a five. Better the Lord. Uh, you you now have a twitch. That's your memorable injury from this thing. So nice. I'm going to assume you now twitch anytime you see any kind of insect. Now, when I say um, a grub, when you see specifically a grub, okay, okay. <laughs> um, I'll he hates maggots. Thurston will remember this. Um, <laughs> and if you would take any more wounds, you might suffer a traumatic injury. But otherwise, you're... you're oh, wait! Fuck. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, that, that, that is correct. Next um, session, we're going to get a call from our fucking boss. we like, Have you seen your assassin arm? You are going to go to Grubulon 7. Home of the oh, I'll just start throwing Grubulon shit with psychic powers like Darth Vader. No! <laughs> All right, who wants, who wants to go next? <laughs> All Captain Picard. All right, who wants to go next? So Reeb and Lauren have gone. I, uh, I'll, I'll go. Okay. Hating this thing which has collapsed my rib cage, which thankfully Reeb had fixed. I'm going to charge. Sweet. I'm gonna swoop up to him, and then I'm gonna cut him in half with cool. my power sword. Give me attack roll. I'd be happy to. Sweet. I get a bonus. I respect this. Mm -hmm. I would like to re-roll. Uh, you do have you, one. You won't avoid rest, the complication, man. but I know I won't avoid the complication. Sweet, do it up. Not fuck this up. Do it up. Uh, you'll him. you'll hit him. Roll two d six. Right. Oh, so, sorry. Keep going. Keep going. No. Oh, uh, so roll two d six for the combat complication. Uh, so sixty two, which is uh. Uh, but, 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 you are restrained. Um, so something you do like actually restrains you, um, and you do seven damage to it. How is my rune looking? You yeah, can I spend runes? a rune point? Yeah, I'll nah, spend fuck a rune you. point. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> um, are we gonna spend the next fucking thirty minutes <laughs> fighting one goddamn grub? And run out of time. Who gave these ruins to him? <laughs> you saw how it is. Um, so yeah, you you throw out your back slightly, making that charge, and you now suffer the restrained condition, which I will show to everyone here. Um, <laughs> I have a plea. <laughs> if anyone from Games Workshop fucking watches <laughs> this show, could next time when you talk to the developers of this game, tell them to say go fuck yourself with the ruin point system to where you can keep. <laughs> Using it every fucking time because I'm a bit miffed. Um, 
Uh, Pi Brain, would you like to go? I think I would like to go. Okay. Uh, so in another turn, do you think I'll have this machine working? Um, so I forgot something that's pretty important. Uh, you're also doing this well blind. So... Oh, let's take a quick <laughs> rewind. Uh, so, so I assume no, you spent you already the done last your stuff. round... Just continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I, I assume you rip, ripped off the panel and that was your blinded action of getting into it. Um, however, now you can... you Like, your your sight is restored this round. So okay, you cool. certainly can continue if you want. Though you've seen this one grub has, like, fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at lore on the ground. I'm looking at Zedek in peril... Like, I am more than just a tech priest. I am a Skitari as well. And I'm going to run at him. Yeah, absolutely. destroy your charge. microphone one day. <laughs> All right, perfect. I there's Okay, so there's a lot of things that happen at this point. Um, first of all, as you run, you kind of see the blockage down here. Oh. Hey, look, it's all the people brain killed. Which is a whole <laughs> bunch of corpses. I can do it. A dozen. Ha, that are I've solved the case. Up, I'm still dead. Uh, on uh, on the grate. Um, and as you sort of see this, you you start to notice um, there are some other nasty critters like on the corpse mound. My this body is, vibrates. This is this is like one of the most horrific things you have ever seen in in your existence as these these like awfully grayish partially jellified bodies have all filled up in the sewer canal and there are all of these like creatures crunching and moving around them and you also get the faintest like audible <laughs> uh as though coming from beyond the great some kind of chilling chuckle from some other entity um so the first thing i need you to do is to give me a fear check so that's going to be some resolve um it's going to sure be a thing boss difficulties three on this ah good ah. <laughs> perfect you're nice. oh the three. next thing, because you are seeing something that just is not like the, the, the these type of creatures are not natural, but the way they're coming out of these bodies, this is this is some kind of like awful warp fuckery. Um, I also need you to give me a conviction uh, role. And this is a corruption test as you see something that is so corrupting just having witnessed it. Sure thing. Ah, another three. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, so that's, that's, that's very good. That's that's yeah. actually very good. You pass, which is the important thing. If you complicate on a fail, you actually take double the corruption damage, uh, and corruption Ooh. can never be restored. Uh, so you are like you you are aghast at this, but don't have any like bad effects to that. Uh, would you? And also, I don't gain any rune because if you fail either of those tests, I get a rune. Um, uh -huh. Please, uh, please give me an attack roll on the grub. I would love nothing more. Yes. I see. Uh, not on my sheet. I don't see where I am on there. <laughs> I was in the wrong place. Uh. <laughs> but I raise my sword to crush down upon this awful grub. And whenever Roll 20 feels like passing that, it can, can I do believe. That. We must I pray for it. Oh! Oh! You hit him. Take the first one. You hit him. <laughs> You definitely hit. All you right. Hit. I'll be shifted over three exalted die, though. I don't know if I need to. No. Might as well. He's just going to round point it and make the fun. Yeah, so he takes 16 damage. I have decided I... the dark powers are, are okay and <laughs> the grub is gone. <laughs> and I'll raise my sword out and I'll say. Let them who think they know no fear look well. Ah, oh, you're all bugs. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I believe that's there. the end of that combat round. Uh, start of the next combat round. Who would like to go first? I would, but I'm dead. Well, I'm you're you're dead. prone and dying. You can still take a move or a combat, or Reeb could try to heal you again. So, like, can I actually yeah. do things? You yeah, you're not like unconscious oh. or anything. There is no unconscious in this game, really. Nice. Uh, I do want. I do want to say one thing before my turn ends. Can I quickly? Yeah. 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 I just want to look over and say, 
Gentlemen, what I am beholding is vile beyond description. You may wish to brace yourself or avert your gaze entirely and allow me to purge this area. Okay, please Answer tell me. I'll help. Please <laughs> tell me you're crawl. crawling. Yeah, yeah. I'm all right. crawling the entire First of all, <laughs> first awesome. of all, yeah, okay. So before Reeb can do anything, you just fucking break into this initiative. You you drag yourself. I'm going to narratively let you do this because what the fuck, <laughs> why not? Um, <laughs> you should, like <laughs> crawl, crawl over. Uh, give me a fear test. So give me a resolve test first. Cool, huh? cool. Does anyone have any objections, by the way? I can just go back if someone wants to do something cool. <laughs> no, it's really funny. Okay. I gotta find where the hell my resolve the Oh god, the, the freaking that's I, I'm finding it! It's somewhere in the thing. It is a thing in which I click that was not originally in the thing. Where's the dude? Wait, wait, I found it. I found it. I found good it. Good job. I found it. Resolve. I think okay, that's good. wrong, you pass the but regardless, yeah. You oh, well. no, that's that's right because it's willpower based, and thus yeah, I thought I had more thing. in terms of willpower, but no, it's, it's correct. It's uh, correct. Yeah, I'm good. Now, now give me a conviction test. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now we got to find where the hell that is in this awesome sheet that we use. You know, because just filling at the it's, dead uh, end, so we're all not just yeah. It's like it's like it. just like a I, I, I I found like it's it. yeah. conviction. Yeah. Yes, go. yes. Hey, good, I'm going good, good. Okay. You okay, also so. passed the conviction test. Okay. Um, though you are slightly disturbed seeing more of the grub friends down there. Um, uh -huh. All right. So you see them. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm just going to click this thing and put it right over the bodies. <laughs> just nice. Now, now here's here's my question. Right. Okay. Is that is that flame breath or is that the molten beam? That's flame breath. Because Molten, Molten Beam, Beam also has that template. No, that should be a direct thing. Mm -mm. That's not a multi. Molten Beam is one straight thing, unless I've. It, it is no, a, that's straight a straight line for 10 meters. That's a, that's a straight, like, thing that goes forward. Um, da, 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 da. The Beam then, basically travels along a straight line for 10 meters in a direction you choose. That's not like... Striking you know, targets using a medium blast. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just read that, too. Uh, <laughs> so what you're saying... So, what you're saying... <laughs> is, I should is, that, is that you could bolt and beam and melt all of the bodies, all of the grubs, everything. Thank you. Thank you for this clarification. I will do so. <laughs> I will kind of, the GM giveth, the GM giveth, okay, take it away. And I am going to use a wrath die to reroll the failed ones on that. Even though I did succeed it because it goes to the tar target defense, I just want more. So sure. reroll that. I now have a seven total. And I assume I have enough to hit all of them. You hit everything in there, and I, I'm not even going to use rune or anything like that. You just, you purge everything in that hall. Um, in a matter of moments, all of the, the grubs are gone, the corpses are gone, everything. In fact, um, that that grub is gone. Um, so, hell, so for you, reference you blow everyone, off the grate. This is how you, much damage it would have done. So I will roll mm -hmm. this. It it does base 18 damage. It's basically yes. a psychic melt -a gun And I failed to roll the other damage to it. But regardless of just... <laughs> I just basically Dragon Ball Z it. Laying down prone. And I just Bonk. collapse and solve the issue. <laughs> And with that, the water begins to flow freely through, and you start to see the the color. And like the you you hear the faintest, though it, it quickly disappears. <laughs> Chuckling sound that just quickly disappears. Help me. Are you Help okay, Lorne? No, I require medical attention for my reap. Okay, Reeb, fix this man's weak, broken body. Reeb's just casually walking over. Yep. Help me. Help me. me. I, I, me. I put on a, a rubber glove with a... <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he think it's what is rewarding is uh yeah so with your medicaid you can restore two two wounds to uh total. Nice. but you you get him you get him up and running and all of yeah, you yeah. kind of have a moment to to catch your breath having having cleared the blockage that's in the system 
Reporting, I have des- or de- I have detected that this blockage is now dealt with. You have succeeded. Good. There are only several hundred more tasks left for you, Captain Zedek. Hmm. Well, we have a long boat ride, Captain Zedek. Let's get may going we, on it. May we oh, please endeavor to get a hold of the engineering staff, the ones that are not murdered at the moment, to actually get some of these done? No. There will be no need. I will do it myself. All right. Okay. What is this fucking tig tone? No. <laughs> <laughs> This foolish tech priestess has laid claim to folly at the feet of Lemuria. I will prove her wrong. Or you will die with me, Trump. I will die. Die. I will brain, do it. Brain. Brain. Wouldn't it be far more effective if you could show that you could get an engineering team that does a better job than her because you only had to do a minimum amount of training and effort to beat her expertise? Are you saying that you're willing to help me with the engineering team? I'm willing to help you. Lord, you are the best friend I could ever ask for. Oh, Messiah, bless you. And you, Zedek, thank you for volunteering. And you, Reem, too. I'm feeling that this was a critical error in my judgment. (laughs) Yeah, what to do? Let's get to it. And I assume we return back up the thing. Yeah, are we going? Are we you, going? You exit. Over? You exit the septic unit for having cleared the problem, uh, making yourselves somewhat, somewhat heroic in terms of the the lower population on the vessel, uh, having defeated the servants of the excremental and brought order to the the septic units of the debt collector. Uh, and with that, we end with Lieutenant Ransom contacting you, Captain Zedek. We will be translating out of the warp to meet with Minister Mallorad and catch you, Van Nord, for our next assignment shortly. Fantastic. Ransom. Send a shower servitor up to my quarters. I need to think. Also send the alcohol servitor, too. Understood, sir. I will get the servitors online. Thank you. That is all. And with that... We are done for today's session. Hooray! So, with that, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Warhounds. We hope you've absolutely enjoyed it. And, uh, and as a quick uh, reminder for everyone, after episode five, things do get adjusted on how these are uh, kind of brought up and presented. Please be sure to check out our Patreon page where we, we use that as kind of like a blog system to keep everyone up to date. Please look at our past post there. It is patreon.com forward slash warhams, where you can kind of get all that up and going in Thirsty Island. And give us your complications and servitor names. Because I need yeah. more complications. Yes. Yeah, so, and, and basically, when you help out with the complications, be sure to check one of the posts where we're asking for it. We'll try to do a better system at some point. I, I agree that our current system is not the greatest, but we are getting your complications when you contribute to the thing. Here's a link to you, link. You can also check all the information down below to help out Warhams and help spread the word. Uh, I'll put a link there for the uh, link tree that kind of gives you all the relevant links about Warhams, Twitter, Patreon, YouTube videos, etc. And, um, Along with that, unfortunately, we did not hit our goal thing, but it's always time for next time. If we are able to hit a thousand current viewers, we will be giving away a thing. So please tell your friends, tell your Discord channels, tell everybody that you know all about Warhammer. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And thank you once more, everyone who have subscribed, donated to the show, and everything else. So I'm going to go around the horn here once to remind you of who your illustrious players are starting with our skittari swordsman yes hello i'm speaker d uh, if you enjoy my brain you may follow me on my twitter at super snake kick or you could follow my youtube channel which is also <gasps> speaker d uh, along with that our illustrious inquisitorial acolyte uh, yes, so this is Erndil. You can reach me at Twitter at Erndilio because Erndil was taken for some reason. Uh, and, I don't uh, do a whole lot there. But you sorry, I'll keep you on. My bad. That was it.
Okay, and our illustrious rogue trader, captain of the debt collector, is... It's me, Hulky Crow. If you enjoyed my antics and my regarding alcoholism, you can feel free to reach out to me at Hulky Crow on Twitter. It's essentially the only social I use and keep up to date. DM me your weird questions or find out my darkest secrets. And our illustrious game master who has been fucking it up with ruin points... Hello. Um, Thurston Hillman here. Uh, you can find me at all the things at On Call GM. Um, I post occasional thoughts and stuff on Twitter. I maybe, you know, posted like a book I was reading yesterday as research that was kind of important for some of the stuff this session. <laughs> so if you want to see cool things and stuff, I post them on the tweeters. And with that, I would like uh, for us to get ready for a raid that we're about to go send you all to. So please stay in for the outro. So, you know, we've been trying to switch some systems over to, to stream elements and stream labs. So we're probably going to miss some uh, like ending credits and stuff like that. Thank you all for bearing with us for some of the technical issues. Love you all so very much. Please, please, please pay attention to our Twitters and our Patreon stuff for major updates for the show. Because after episode five, as we said with our first announcements video, things are going to be massively changing on some things in here. We also going to have to put a vote on basically going is this even a thing you guys enjoyed to where if we're going to still keep going with this or not so thank you all so very much we will see you all next time i think i have the schedule right here as i switch the thing around we'll be back august 22nd please put that on your Ooh. calendars please let people know that we're coming yes. back on august 22nd and i think today it's today hokey your birthday was the other one it, it is today. It is my birthday. And happy oh birthday, Hokey. Oh, my God, it is Hokey. Captain Zedek Day. It is, it is Captain Zedek Day. So happy birthday, Hokey. Thank so you very that, much, Zorin. Happy birthday. So with, thank you, speaker. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. So with birthday, that, happy. we're going to now start shutting it down. Thank you all so much for being here. We'll catch you next time. Happy Warhamming, everybody. Bye. Happy Captain Zedek Day. Happy Captain Zedek Day.